glistening in the lane snow is glistening a beautiful sight we're happy tonight walking in a winter wonderland gone away is the bluebird here to stay is i about to look up christmas rave music do you think that's a thing Christmas rave songs. Also, is my mic okay? It should sound good. Rave anywhere hardcore Christmas rave. Is my PC still broken? Yes. How the fuck is this Christmas rave? <laughs> Hello! It's because it said ho, ho, ho. Oh my god, I'm out of breath already. Hello, everybody flooding in! How is everybody doing on this fan-fucking-tastic Wednesday? Michael Bart Bart for the 10 fucking gifted. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, Michael Bart Bart. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the fucking subs. Anyways... We're still streaming on the old PC, which has literally nothing on it other than Google Chrome and Streamlabs, bitch. Uh, my new PC is still at Micro Center. They're still fixing that shit. I gave them a call today. They said, yeah, we took apart your whole PC. They said, yeah, we took apart your whole PC. Uh, we don't know what the problem is. I'm still live, though, bitch. Dub in the chat. Dub in the chat. Brooke underscore 57 for the fucking tag gift. It's two. Geese goose for the sub. It might be done tonight. It might be done tomorrow. I don't know. We're live early today. We're doing reactions on a fucking Wednesday because reactions is all I can fucking do while they're fixing my goddamn PC because I have zero games on this PC that I'm streaming on right now. Other than Google Chrome and maybe some fucking .io games. Anyways, we have some good ass reaction. Godly potato for the twenty five gifted. A and Joanna for the sub. Godly fucking potato for the twenty five. I could get I could get those fucking glasses on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I could look like one of those douchebag college kids. Even though I'm in college, so this literally could be me. Hold up. Should I should I turn the lights down? Turn the lights down, just start fucking talking. <laughs> Banner's coming in town. Oh, winding down. <laughs> The fuck was that screech? Anyways, godly potato for the fucking 25 gift it. We're doing reactions today. Okay, I'm not gonna... We're, we're doing reactions today. It's a Wednesday. I'm live early. Uh, I will likely be live at least semi-early for the rest of the week. Uh, are you guys off of school yet? Yes or no? If you're not and you're watching me in class... Teacher! Teacher! The kid in the back of your class is watching me! The kid in the the kid in the back of your class is not paying attention to me. It, it not paying attention to you. Call on pick on them for a question. Okay, most of you guys are off, it seems. Anyways. Anyways, uh what we're doing today. Reactions, we got a bunch of all. I'll give a quick rundown of all the things we're going to be reacting to in a second. 
Uh, general plan. We're gonna be doing reactions today for about three and a half hours, maybe four, depending on how long I fucking react for. Uh, Tim Bob for the sub, Sammy for the sub, ILY for the sub, Tote for the sub, Easton for the 300 bets. Uh, looks like Joe took the unlimited bacon, but no games. That is the better option, apparently. Simply and it's Woodsy for the sub, Michael for the sub, and Godly Potato again. Thank you for the fucking 25 gift it. <sighs> We're doing reacts today. I should have my new PC by tomorrow, okay? In which case... We're finishing high on life. I'm looking at my schedule. Dub. In which case, if, if, if I have my new PC tomorrow, we're finishing high on life. Okay? The Rick and Morty game. Friday, general plan, Fortnite and Val. Long Fortnite and Val stream. Also early, though. Saturday, Christmas Eve, switch bowling where I'm going to reclaim my crown as the best Switch Bowler ever to have walked this earth. And then we're going to be doing Christmas scary reactions. A.K.A. short short films that are Christmas related. That are scary. If that makes sense. Sunday, Christmas Day, I'll be live for like an hour. Okay? Everybody has shit to do on Christmas. I have shit to do on Christmas. You guys have shit to do on Christmas. I'm not going to be live that long uh, Christmas Day. I'll be live for like an hour. I'll just talk to you guys. We might do a bit of reactions. Say Merry Christmas to each other. You know, the regular festivities. Anyways, then next Monday, we'll be back doing Minecraft. Next Tuesday, we'll probably play a new FFB game or maybe Rocket League. Ugh. My mod, tr my mods may have convinced me to play Rocket League next week. But um, yeah, no. This Friday, we're not doing reactions because I'm doing reactions today because I literally can't play High on Life, which was scheduled for today, which we will be doing tomorrow. If I have my new PC, and then Friday will be Fortnite and Val. So everything kind of got swapped over. Does that make sense? Hold up. Hold up. All right. Do you guys want to see what we're reacting to today? Liam for the sub, Shizwiz for the 500 bits. Just found out. Big Chile for the five gifted. Does that sound good, though, chat? Does that schedule sound good? Does that make sense? I'm not repeating it again. I'll repeat it at the end of stream in like four hours. I'm very sicko mode, and I have one month to live. The only cure is G Fuel, but it's so expensive. Do you have a code where I could get 30% off? Oh, why, yes, I do. Exclamation point G Fuel, code Joe B. Uh, code Joe B, 30% off. I just saved a life. You're welcome. I just saved a life. <laughs> Don't keep for the sub. XC5 for the sub. Not <coughs> Nut collector for the 300 bits. Where's the Bob's hat? I don't know. I lost it when I was wearing my Christmas outfit. Sammy and Tim Bob for the sub. Days for the sub. Bo back for the five fucking gifteds. And Bing Chilling for the five fucking gifteds. Let's, let's get into the reacts. Let's get into the fucking reacts today, bitch. Holy shit. So many fucking reactions. Starting off, we have some funny ass fake movie trailers. Spooderman movie trailer. Super Mario movie trailer, but better. Among Us, but it's only blue. Then we have a banger-ass Darman video. I think their name is pronounced Boba T. Bro, it says Bobat. Yo, chat, how do you pronounce B-O-B-A-T? Boba T or Bobat? Bobat. Bobat for the five gifteds. Bing Chilink for the five gifteds. I, yo, I, I, yeah, if it's Boba T... Correct me, but like, bro, it's not Bubba. Wait, is it called Boba Tea or Bubble Tea? Those are two different things, right? Yo, Mama for the sub, Malias for the sub, pretty for the five-ish bets. First live stream, been going through a breakup. I'm sorry that you've been going through a breakup. Watching your videos make me laugh so hard. Thank you. Glad you like watching my videos. Somebody said fuck high on life. Ow, chatter! We're not even playing it today. It's tomorrow. If I have my new PC. But. Bro, sa yo, bro saying high on life sucks. Yo, yeah. It don't do as good as the other video games on this stream. I don't give a fuck. It's one of my favorite games I've ever fucking played. And a lot of my chat likes it. So. Ah, L. And I'm finishing it tomorrow. It's not like I'm playing it every fucking day. Damn. 
Joe Keep for the sub. RGN for the sub. Bobat for the fringe bets. It is pronounced Boba T. Ooh. I'm liking Bobat, so you can keep calling me that. Okay, I'm going to call you Bobat. Good shit. Anyways, after those trailers, we have a spoiled girl forced to work on farm. What happens next is shocking. Raw meat is all I eat. Somebody that only eats raw meat. Driving the most expensive tiny car in the world. Uh, then we're watching a clip of Logan Paul's podcast where he disses like every religion ever. Uh, and we're going to see what he says. It's only this little segment here. We are not watching two hours of a podcast, so don't worry about that. It's like this 15-minute segment or so. Uh, then we have barehanded shark fishing, a food theory that we're killing Santa by giving him cookies, and then this weird video of this dude doing a stunt. Sound good? Yes or no? Zeldi for the sub. Uh, Jovani for the 300 bets. I think that's how you say it. Boba T is the small, smooth balls that go in your mouth. Yes, they are. Boba T is the small, smooth, the small, smooth balls that go in your mouth. That is facts. Ginger for the sub. Uh, for 14 months. Let's get into it. Spooderman movie trailer. I'm not the. I gotta turn it up. What the fuck? I have not watched these, by the way. But you guys sent this one. The amount, yo. Yo, shout to the Discord, too. Exclamation point, Discord. Video suggestion tab. Send me videos to react to. The amount of you that sent me this vi- Y'all send. Y'all go through waves of sending me the worst videos ever, right? It's like one week, y'all will send me, like, a good-ass vid, right? Like, a bunch of good-ass vids. And then we have one week where you guys just spam the shit out of this movie trailer. All of y'all sent this. I, I got this movie trailer in my suggestions like 45 times. If this shit sucks, I'm going to be pissed. Anonymous for the sub. I'm not the hero the world wants. And I'm not the hero the world needs. But I am the hero that the world gets. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. Before my uncle died, he told me I was special. Did he put him in? Oh my god, did he push him in front of a car? He told me Bro, I he killed his uncle. He killed his uncle. It's a reverse that the uncle wasn't killed. He fucking killed him. Now he's a superhero. Bing to link for the five gifted chef for the sub. And Bobat for the five subs as well. Bing Chilling for the five. Bing Chilling 818 for the five gifteds. Chef for the sub. And Bobat for the five more gifteds. Holy fucking shit. We're already at the sub goal. Dub. Dub. Aware for the sub. Bobat, thank you for the fucking subs. Bing Chilling, thank you for the fucking subs as well. And everybody else that has gifted subs previously like 10 minutes ago. Thank you guys. I was special, and I'm gonna prove he was right. <laughs> you would die! I'm gonna fight all the bad guys and be a hero. Masked criminal sp- Bro, just start swinging, it don't even matter who you are. Villain or- villain or fucking hero. Bro's both. Rose both at once, just punch it. Any altercation just beats the shit out of everybody. Spooderman strikes again. Whoa, they're posting pictures of me. Hey, I'm, I'm here to save the day. Oh God, Spooderman, please don't. What? <laughs> it's in my mouth. Spooderman, help me. Please don't. What? <laughs> it's in my mouth. Ew, what the fuck was that? Was that supposed to be his webs? Spooderman, help me! Major well, Joe, it's not supposed to be realistic. It's a fucking superhero movie. This is a superhero movie? This might be the worst fucking hero ever. Hey! Not again. I know that's the point. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Thanks to geometry, that's the cringiest scene ever. That is the, yo, in, in Spider-Man, yo, not even this shit. The Spider-Man, Spider-Man geometry. Bro, that shit where he fucking thanks math for beating quite possibly one of the smartest people in the universe. Find that shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about? 
this dumbass scene where he's like, thanks to my high school math class, I just beat Doctor Strange. Yo, shut the fuck up. Like, he can fucking, he can recognize- Treat. Square the radius. Divide my pie. Plot points along the curve. It's over, Parker. I'll come pick you up. Divide by pie? Divide? Yo, this was the dumbest scene in this whole fucking movie. Literally. L uh, divide by pie. What do you mean divide by pie? You're just grabbing all of the rocks and pulling them together. You did no math. You did no math. You just fuck it. Divide by pie. It's a circle. You didn't need math to fucking figure that out, dickhead. It's just some dumbass grab to try and get kids into math. Divide by pie. Plot points along the curve. It's over, Parker. Plot points. Plot what points? I'll come pick you up when it's done. Hey, Strange. You know what's cooler than magic? Math. <laughs> math. It made, yo, it made me hate him for, like, ten minutes after this. I was like, dude, when I went to the movie theater to see this fucking movie, bro. I saw this shit in, movie, in the movies twice. Both times, I visibly cringed when this dickhead said, you know what's cooler than magic? Math. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Would you rather, would you rather know calculus or be able to shoot fire out of your fucking hands. Don't do this. Ow. I'm sorry, sir. He also, like, sent him... It, he basically killed him. I, I don't get that whole point. Uh, this whole clip makes no sense. He just took his one way of getting back. He basically kills Doctor Strange in this. Yet he somehow gets out. I don't understand it. But... Yo, the, all of y'all that are saying you would rather know calculus than shoot fire out of your hands, are you fucking kidding me? You would rather know fucking sine x sine than fucking sh literally fucking fire hands. What's a better power? I feel like I'm giving a, 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 a shitty power here. Alright, let me give one that appeals to my chat. You either know calculus or you have the best riz of all time. You either know calculus or you have you're you are the wizard of oz. Oh god. That was so cringe. That was so cr Yeah, now everybody says riz. Okay, now everybody says riz. Even though that's the dumbest power ever. Even though that's the shittiest power you could possibly have. Henry for the sub needed for the 3. Accident accidentally gave my girlfriend a hickey. She is volunteering at church Friday helping kids. What do I do? Tell her to wear makeup. I mean, you can't really get rid of it. <laughs> and how do you accidentally do that? Like, you have to suck on someone's neck to do that. Bing chilling for the thousand bits. The whisk method. What do you mean the whisk method? She, oh, oh, wait. I already, I already read that. Jovenite for the 300 bits. Riz because I'm Lord Rizzleton. Okay. My dad is dying. If only he had some G fuel, but it's too expensive. If only I had a 30% discount. Joby. Code Joby. Code Joby. Exclamation point G fuel. Code Joby. Y'all doing too much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's like once a stream, right? Once a stream, I need one of those funny, like, oh, my cat's dying. I need G Fuel to save their life. You know what I mean? Blue Adi for the sub. Jovani for the 300 bets. Rosa, divide by pi when that shit is infinite. <laughs> Smexy for the sub. Mask for the 300 bets. What's your opinion on Poland? Never been there. Moist for the sub. Old Al for the two subs. Aware for the sub. All right. Uh, beer for the five bits. Agent and watched Violent Night W movie. You should go watch it. Is that in theaters? I kind of do want to see it. Spider-Man. Oh, is that Venom? Who are you? I'm Venom. Uh, it'd probably be better. It'd probably be better. What's What was that one shitty Tom Holland movie? It was the second Spider-Man with Tom Holland. What one was that? I hated it. With Jake Gyllenhaal, and it was Mysterio, the worst villain of all time. Literally some dude that just manipulates shit with, like, movie scenes. Far From Home sucked. 
I hated Far From Home. I, I genuinely did not like that movie. And, like, I love Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland because I think he is the best Spider-Man, but I fucking hated that movie. That movie literally sucked dick. Like, it was bad. Like, je and you knew, you knew that he was bad, like, the first second he introed into the fucking, in, into the movie. Jake Gyllenhaal walks on, uh, walks on screen. Okay, he's Mysterio. What, who would have guessed it? Who would have fucking guessed it? SND for the sub, expert for the thousand bits. Would you rather be punched or, punched slash slapped by a chimpanzee or kicked by a kangaroo? By a hairless chimpanzee. Bro, somebody just said spoilers. When did that movie come out? Five years ago? Dude, like, it pisses... Damn! Bro, look at his fists! Look at his fists! Holy shit! Kicked by a kangaroo or punched by a chimpanzee. Where am I getting punched or kicked? If it's in the stomach, punched by a chimp. If it's in the head, still probably... I, I feel like I, even though he looks strong, a kick from a kangaroo is like a death sentence to the head. I feel like that's actually that actually might kill me. Big Chalig for the five fucking gifteds. Big Chalig five or 818 for the five fucking gifteds. Thank you for the fucking subs, Bing. Love you, man. Not like that, though. Not parasocially. Love you for the subs. I don't know who you are. Don't like you parasocial. Parasocial? Mm, no. Thank you for the subs. Love you for the subs. Thank you for that. Expert for the thousand bits. Little slim for the subs. Uh, and Moist for the three bits. Can I please get a bite of that? Uh, oh, my God. No. Woogie or Woogway for the sub. The Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, I didn't even say the trailer. Super Mario movie trailer, but better. The Mushroom Kingdom. Already a better voice than Chris Pratt. Already, already a better Mario voice than Chris Pratt. It uh, used to be a peaceful place. So, like, I can't hear somebody, like, impersonate Mario and not think that it sounds dumb as fuck. No matter who does it. Bobat for the five fucking gifteds as well. Bing and Bobat for the five gifted subs. Thank you for the five gifteds, Bobat. Thank you for that. But then a Bowser came. And he had kidnapped a Peach and Luigi. But oh, Mario, I'm still here. Oh, is a Peach with you? No. Oh. Bowser actually only kidnapped the Peach. But that was so sad. You're gonna need a team if you wanna be Bowser. Yo, if y'all are Mario. Are you saving Peach for the fifth fucking time? No. It's the same thing with the Taken movies. Taken 1, Taken 2, the one where he has to, like, go fucking find someone because, like, everybody in his family keeps just getting kidnapped by these Russian mafia members. Like, dude, after the tenth time of that shit happening, I'd be like, yo, Peach. Maybe get a security guard. Or, like, walk around with a pistol. You know what I mean? Like, the st if you've been kidnapped five times. Five times. Eventually, you're gonna just carry a gun on you. You know what I mean? Or a knife. Or pepper spray. Bear mace. Have a security guard. You're gonna have some sort of defense method. Rather than... And he just grabs you again. Like, are, are you that? Like, I punch him. Kick him in the nuts. Grab his nipples. <laughs> Yo, something. You know what I mean? Like, some some way. Some way. Nah. Nah. I, I mean, yo, I'm taking... <laughs> Give him a nice old arm burn. One of those things. <laughs> Some shit. Figure it out. Bobat and Bing for the subs. Because he wants more than just your... Bro, was that Yoshi? 
a team if you want to beat Bowser. Oh, they look so fucking stupid. Because he wants more than just your princess. He wants every princess in the universe. Then he's going to have to face the Guardians of the Mario Galaxy. <laughs> the Guardians of the Mario Galaxy. Bro, is this just a Guardians of the Galaxy movie? Literally, just everybody's replaced with the Mario characters. Get your Together, we're gonna save the beach. I feel like this would be a good movie, though. Like, it would. Like, a real-life Mario movie where they have to save the un- Not save Peach. Save the universe. Dude, that would be fire as sh It would be so stupid. It would be amazing. Oh, oh. So bad, it's good. Oh, uh, Mario. I think we might have the wrong princess. Luigi, I think you're right there. Who is that? Who is that supposed to be? We might have the wrong princess. Luigi, I think you're That's Snow White? Oh, shit. How the fuck did y'all know that? How the fuck did y'all know that? Is it the fit? You're right, though. Super Mario Bros, but better? All right, last one. La last movie trailer, and then we're on to the regular reacts. Haley for the th or not regular, but, uh, uh, like, longer form videos. Haley for the three-inch bets. Bowser has been... Uh, has been in a lot more personal places than Peach's home. I am convinced. Wasn't it a theory that Bowser Jr. is Peach's kid? What would their kid look like, though? Half human, half, like, Bowser dinosaur? If Peach and Bowser... There's somebody that made a fan art of this. Had a kid. There's someone that made a fan art of this. No doubt. No, no doubt... What the fuck? What the fuck is that? It's the only picture they have of Peach and Bowser. And then you got this dumbass fucking thing. Why is this even in the search bar? What is this? What is that? What is this one's name? This one's the most annoying Mario character. No, actually, Toad is the most annoying Mario character. What's that one's name? The one that has that big ass nose? The nose hole? She bad smash. Oh no! Oh Birdo! Yeah, that's their stupid ass fucking name, Birdo. What does that even mean? Is are they a bird? Is that what the fucking thing is? Corn for the sub, Bing for the thousand bits, Toast for the fringe bits. This reminds me of the Mario Warfare. Search it up on YouTube. It was my childhood. Mario Warfare, the Rizzler for the sub. No damn way you just made your YouTube name the Rizzler. Mario Warfare. Bro, this is an hour and 17 minutes. Is this a movie? We were starving and exhausted. Bro, do we watch this one day? I have never seen Mar- Oh, it's parts. And somebody just combined all of them to make a movie. Dude, that's fucking insane. Mario fucking Warfare. Wow. Do it today? N yeah, fuck no. Katie for the sub, Bing for the 600 bets. I have to mentally prepare myself to watch an hour and 20 minutes of Mario voices. <clears throat> like, when I go see the Mario movie, oh my god. When does that come out, by the way? The new Mario movie. Among Us, but it's only blue. Hey, Blue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, the other Blue. Sometimes it get a little confusing. <laughs> Isn't everything confusing? Thank you all for coming to the meeting. 
We're here to discuss. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. What's a meeting? Can I get mine with no tomatoes? <laughs> what? What? Joe in five years? This is me in five years? I just found out this ship has a bathroom. This changes I don't up. even think this is a trailer. I think this is just a skit. Everything. I like what Blue's saying. Are we all on board with that? All right, we'll vote for you. Thanks, guys. Hey, what's it like out there? Oh, yeah. This is so fucking stupid. Can we skip this? This is so dumb. This is so fucking dumb. <gasps> Why? Wait, is that a bicep? Oh, yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm getting the fuck out of that one. That one was dumb as hell. Four inch for the fucking sub. Uh, all right, next vid. Spoiled girl, spoiled girl forced to work on farm. What happens next is shocking. Dude, is it? Yo, also, did y'all see that Darman <sighs> made like a whole ass hour long? Also, bro, they're uploading like fucking every day. He made an hour and a half special. That is nuts. An hour and a half Darman special. This is 26 minutes. Holy shit. Yo, we might skip around for some of this. Look, slow down. Are you trying? It's like getting the movie quality, though, isn't it? It's weird. Like the Darman videos are getting like, like inch, like they have fucking intro scenes and all this other shit. I get us killed. Okay, you sound like my dad. I drive like this all the time. Why did you turn the music off? <sighs> Oh my gosh, that might be Amy. Maddie, get my bag. Are you sure you should be texting while you're driving? Jess, relax, okay? Both of you just have to chill out. Just check the text at a stoplight. The fuck? Careful! Oh my gosh, Brooke, I'm so sorry. Let me clean it up. No, don't worry about it. It's from last season. My mom told me that she was going to get me the new Chanel and your Destin boy bag anyway for my birthday. How much is a Prada bag? How much is a Prada bag? You don't give a shit that somebody spilled coffee? Prada bag. Price. Bro, aren't they like... They're a thousand dollars! Dude, if somebody's, if I bought a thousand dollar bag and somebody spilled coffee on it, I would fucking be pissed. Bravery and Spectrum for the sub and bing for the thousand bits. It's probably fake? Well, no shit for maybe the fucking video, but I'm saying like, how the fuck would she not care? Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Amy locked in her ski passes for this weekend. <laughs> Is it so cool if we stay in your parents' ski chalet in Aston? Yeah, of course. It's ours when we want it, but when we don't take it, my parents put up an Airbnb. It's the perfect setup. A vacation house that pays for itself. They're your friends because you're rich. They don't like you. They're only, they're only friends. You see how they're asking for a lot of things? They're asking for a lot, right? They're, your, they're only your friends because you're rich. They don't like you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Amy know that we're in. Out. It would be way worse than that. Way worse than that. You were going like 45. Bro, that doesn't even look that bad. Like, yo, real, you could just keep driving the car. Like, that's actually not that big of a deal. You gotta fix the light and undent that shit. Maybe get rid of the scratches. Brooke! Sweetheart, are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine, Mom. And Maddie and Jess are fine, too. It's really not that big of a deal. It was just a little fender bender. It doesn't look so little to me. Well, it's not my yeah, fault. That's that gonna be me. I was about to say. I was about to say, I ain't gonna be like... Yo, first, yeah, I'm gonna be like, are you okay? Second, I'm gonna be like, you fucking rear-ended someone at a stoplight, you fucking idiot. You rear-ended somebody at a stoplight. This is entirely your fault. That people don't know how to drive these days. I was literally minding my own business, and then the guy in front of me just slammed on his brakes for no reason. 
Oh my gosh. What oh, in the world? She's capping. That's crazy how the insurance company is going to re-go over the footage. You're capping. What was he thinking? Good to see you again, Mr. Adams. Mrs. Adams. So, I do have some good news and some bad news. Well, why don't you give me the good news first? Because you know the most terrifying thing ever? This is so off topic. When the light goes yellow, I, I, that's like, like, I immediately get filled with adrenaline. If you've never driven a car, right, because a lot of you can't drive, right, but when a light goes yellow, you have to make the informed decision on whether or not you're going to slam on your brakes or gun it, right? And I know, I know that, I know that, oh, all they tell you in driving school is, no, you're not supposed to gun it, you're supposed to go normal speed. They're fucking out of their goddamn mind, right? Going normal speed works when the light is yellow right when you pass through the fucking light. If it goes yellow and you're decently far back, there is still a point in which you can't break in time, but you also need to speed up to not get or not run the red light, right? There is a good, a good area where it's yellow and you can't fucking, you can't fucking break in time, but you also can't go normal speed or it's going to go red. And every intersection's yellow light lasts a different amount of time. Some yellow lights are like two seconds. Some are like 10. I have ran multiple red lights in New Jersey by accident. Keeping it real. Because I can't tell. And I'm not like running. It's not like red for like 10 seconds and I run it. It's like, it's like yellow, yellow, red, I cross. Red cross. And then I barely run the red light. It's so fucking annoying. MM for the sub scar for the 300 bits. Uh, is 225 bench good for 14 at 140? Yeah, that is very good, actually. Uh, uh, Excelio. And that's if you're going down all the way. A lot of people half bench or bounce it off their chest. Uh, if it's like an official lift, yeah. Juicy for the 300 bits. I always gun that shit. I ain't no pussy. Yeah, but what if it's like, what if you gun it and it's a short yellow? And then it's red for like three seconds. And then you nail a car. See, that's that's my worry. That's why I'm always like panicking on what I should do. Bang! For the 1,100 bits. Gutsy ate it for the 500 bits. It's a guessing game. Sometimes they will fake you out. But when you slow down and stop, it's a long yellow. That's the worst. The No, what's even worse is when you stop on a yellow and you realize that you could have just went. And now you're sitting there for, like, a minute at, like, a long-ass red. Uh, and then for the sub, uh, Excelio says, Hey, babe, we still going out tonight, XO Kitten Lover. What the fuck? Spectrum for the 300 bets. You should play Grounded a W game. I do want to play Grounded one day. I don't know if it would be a good stream game. Raft might be a bit better, and it's kind of similar in the idea of you play with your friends, and it's just kind of a building game. Not building, like, actual building, but, like, progression. I don't think I can take any more bad today. Good news is, it's all fixed. Is your PC done yet? No, I'm still streaming on the old one. Michael for the 500 bits. Apparently, it, dude, they're taking apart my whole damn PC at Micro Center. They have no idea what's wrong with it. Each yellow light lasts as long as the speed limit. 45 miles per hour means 4.5 seconds. 30 means 3. Is that a fact? I have never known that. It's based off of the speed limit. Big chili! For the 25 fucking gifted subs. Holy shit! Thank you for the fucking gifted, Big Chilling. 818 for the 25 gifted fucking subs. Thank them if you got a sub because he just gave out fucking uh, 25 subs. To the viewers. Well, he, she, they. I said he because I always assume it's... It, most of my viewers are men, so I, sh I shouldn't say he. But they gave out 25 subs. Thank them for a fucking sub if you got a sub from them. And thank you for the 25 fucking gifted. It's Aiden for the 300 bits. We need to Google this. I might. Chicken Little for the 500 bits. 
You looking nice today? Glad I hopped in. Yo, chat. Um, none of y'all said uh, I got a haircut. And, you know, um, it kind of upset me. I've been live for 40 minutes. Not one of you said nice haircut, okay? I got a haircut earlier. To, I, you did? Okay, well, I didn't see it. Um, most of you shaved your beard as well. I did. I did. Thank you for noticing. Thank you for noticing. Thank you for noticing. Bobat for the five gifteds. And Bing Chilling, thank you again for the 25 fucking gifted subs. And Bobat for the five gifteds. Anyways, if you did compliment the haircut, I appreciate it. Yo, chat, rate the cut. Uh, ignore, ignore. Yo, that's, that might be the worst dent I have ever had in my entire life. That is bad. Oh my god, that's bad. <clears throat> Yo, rate the cut, but ignore the headset dent. Oh, you can't ignore it. Oh, holy shit, you can't ignore it. Yo, rate the cut. I know it's very short on the sides right here, but I do that so then I don't have to get a haircut like every three weeks. I get like, I get like a haircut once every month and a half. How often do you guys get your hair cut? I feel like I never know how long I should get, how often I should go. Bing Chilling for the thousand bits, I'm a he. Okay, well, thank thank him if you got a, if you got a sub from them for the 25 gifted. And thank you for the fucking subs, Bing Chilling, again, and the thousand bits, and Boba for the sub. I feel like if you have short hair, getting a haircut once a month, month and a half is pretty normal. If you have long hair, it's usually like once every three, four months. I used to get a haircut every, like, three weeks. Because I used to have very, very short hair. Uh, like, I used this used to be the longest it would be. Now I have it. This is the shortest, and then it gets long. All right. Chicken for the 400 bets. When I said you look nice, I meant your hair. Thank you. I should have said that. I'm running out of money, so I'm going to stop. You don't need to keep sending bets. But Chicken Little, thank you for the 400 bets. It is not required to send bets. I appreciate everybody. Viewer, dono, sub, whatever. You don't need to give anything. If you do give something, I'm very appreciative of it. But I'm also appreciative of people that are just viewing. There's no frame damage. Should be all done within a week or so. Bad news is your insurance is going to go. Hold up. Hold up. Some guy just said you're racist. Oh, would you look at that? They've been following for eight minutes. And they uh, spam for me to play the Miles Morales. They, play, they spam for me to play... The Miles Morales. I don't know why this is bright as shit. It's because the PC's all fucked up. Bro, spam for me to play Miles Morales Spider-Man. Dude, I'll play that in a fucking grip. Yeah, have fun being banned in my chat. Holy shit. Caden for the 600 bets. Go up because she did. It looks like you shaved one part of your hair and kept the rest of your hair. That's because I get it shaved zero on the sides. And it's because I have blonde hair as well. There's actually hair here. You just can't see it because it's not thick. Can you rate my short poem for my final? Joey for the 300 bits. Here I am once again feeling lost, but now and then I breathe in and let it go. Dude, that's literally a song. You fucking liar. Read your short poem for a final. You don't have to be afraid to put your dream in action. What is that from? That's from a fucking Disney show, you dickhead. It slam into somebody who was waiting in a red light. Oh, you what? You lied to us? Were you on your phone again, texting and not paying attention? No, no, I really wasn't, I swear. This is an estimate for the repairs. Oh, this is ridiculous. Our insurance is gonna shoot through the roof. You could pay up front if you'd like. I'll be in my office, give you guys a minute to discuss it amongst yourselves. You know, I don't even get why you're so mad. This isn't even the car that I wanted for my sweet 16. Be ah! Ah! Oh, you're getting, oh, you're getting a fucking, oh, you're getting a dirt bike. That's what you're, uh, yeah, you're not even getting a car. You're getting a fucking dirt bike and a backpack. That's how you're getting to school, dickhead. Fuck you. F oh, that's not the car I even wanted? Oh, my God. Oh, you're getting a fucking, you're dead ass getting a little military backpack and a fucking motorcycle. A shitty one. One gallon of gas it holds. Maybe a little moped. Yeah, have fun getting to school. Oh, you're not happy about your BMW? Because it's a lot of money. How exactly do you expect yeah, have fun. Have fun waiting for the bus. To pay for this. I don't know. Um, a credit card? 
Money doesn't grow on trees, Brooke. Well, technically. No, that is enough. I did not build a real estate empire so that my daughter could spend a fortune on... Real estate empire. This guy. <laughs> this guy. This guy. A real estate empire. Somebody said play a high on life. I literally... I was going to today after reacts, but I can't because I literally have my old PC still without high on life. We're going to finish high on life tomorrow. Probably. If my kid ever said that to me, holy shit. Dude. I would immediately take their car away. I would say, have fun taking public transportation. Your name is not on this car. You do not own the car. You can't do anything to get this car. Have fun taking the fucking bice bi uh, bicycle to fucking school, dickhead. Two inch for the 300 bits. Can you VIP me? Oh, yeah. I forgot I said I was going to do that. My bad. Now I can because I'm signed in. All right. There you are. And clothes and cars. Until you can learn the value of money, you are not going to Aspen with your friends. And you can forget about that new Chanel bag. What? No, 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 that's not fair. Mom, you know how bad I want that bag. And Dad, we've had that trip. Big for the 10 gifted subs. Bro, you have given so... How many fucking subs have you even given? Holy shit. 63 subs to the channel. Bro gave fucking 10 subs just now. Thank you for the fucking 10 subs, Bing Chilling. Dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you got a sub. And thank you for the 10 fucking gifteds, Bing Chilling. 818. Red for the sub. Jopany for the 300 bets. Your haircut is so bad that Brooke is going to break up with you. Then I'm going to riz her up and you're going to go. You're going to be sobbing. Brooke said my haircut looks nice. Now, either she was lying to me or she genuinely thinks it looks nice. Oh my god, imagine my girlfriend lied to me. Do you think my haircut's bad, chat? Be real. Be real. It's Matthews for the sub. You think it's bad? Yes, meaning it's bad. Yeah, fuck you guys. Half of you guys are saying yes. For the people that are saying no, dub. Trip planned for weeks. What, what do you guys expect me to do? Just stay home while everyone else has fun without me? Yes. No, of course not. Watch The Office. Dude, I did that an entire summer in one year. My fucking sophomore year summer, I watched the entire office for like fucking three weeks straight. And that's all I did. Y'all ever do that? Like you're on fucking break. You literally do nothing but watch one show every day. You wake up and watch that show. Go to bed watching that show. Capulet for the sub. Scuff for the sub. Number and Smatthews for the sub. Uh, and May for the 300 bits. Changed my name from yesterday because nobody knows how to pronounce it. I know it's cringe, but it's AI generated. What was it before? And Matrix. I don't think that's bad. No, you are going to come to Uncle John's farm with us this weekend. The farm? <laughs> no. That place is absolutely repulsive. I hate it there. No. That is a great idea. I like <laughs> farms. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm just like, like, do you guys, would you guys be willing to have like an Airbnb at, by a farm? I think that would be dope. Just to be able to, like, see the fucking land and all that. Like, it's just nice. Like, why would you bitch about that? Oh, no, I have to go take a vacation to a farm. Like, you're not working. I mean, if you had to work the farm, that would fucking suck. But, like, if you're just getting on the farm, that's dope. Besides, it'll give you a chance to catch up with your cousin Jenna. You haven't seen her in ages. Okay, well, there's literally nothing to do there. It's in the middle of nowhere. I'd rather just stay home. You don't have a choice. <laughs> yes, I do! Yes, I do. I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say that you. I'm gonna say that you hit me. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say that you don't feed me and that I'm starving because because you. I know you're abusing me right now. Don't worry about all that fancy stuff because where we're going, you won't need any. Twitch said I did that. It didn't work. You called Child Protective Services and lied to them about your parents. That is fucked. <laughs> Joe Babalozzi for the 300 bits. Video quality looks amazing. It does. What is with all the subs, Bing? What the fuck?
What the fuck? Dude, I've been live for 50 minutes. I already have 184 subs. And I feel like over half of them are from you. Being chilling for the fucking 10 gifteds. Holy shit. What the fuck? Do we crack a G Fuel now? Celebratory? Celebratory? Ooh, which one do I want? We're gonna run compound five. I said this is this is in my top three now. The blueberry muffins we did last night, eh? No, nor here, no there. It was all right. Chicken for the sub, old for the sub, nitro for the sub. Compound five, amazing, amazing. Compound B, compound five, good one. It's also got the boys on it. You guys watch this show. I gotta give it another go. But I, I saw I watched the first episode of The Boys, and in the first, like, 20 minutes, uh, somebody gets, like, sexually assaulted. And I was like, I don't really want to watch this anymore. <laughs> and so I turned it off. <laughs> but I, I, I think I got to I think I gotta just truck through that, you know what I mean? Sawyer for the sub. It's a good-ass show. That's the, it's only that one scene ever. Yo, but, like, why do they put that in the first 20 minutes? Play high on life. I can't! For the last fucking time, dude. Look at my PC. Do you see any game? I I am on a PC that has Streamlabs and Google Chrome, bitch. That is it. My PC with high on life is at a fucking micro center in pieces. Because they're fixing it. I should have it tomorrow. I'm, I might be able to pick it up tonight. I don't know for sure because they ain't giving me a fucking ETA. I already did a whole goddamn rant about that. I don't have my PC. I was going to play on life, on life today. I should be finishing it tomorrow. I can't play it today. I physically can't. What happened to it? It's just blue screens. It literally blue screens. It, the second you launch Windows, it just breaks every time. It's some. It, I think it's my motherboard. Uh, they already took apart my P. Or they already added another CPU. Didn't fix it. They added more RAM. Didn't fix it. Uh, so now they're checking. They they told me before I went live that they're checking the GPU and the motherboard. And I'm gonna have to replace one of the two. If I have to replace my 4090. If I have to replace a $2,000 4090, I'm going to fucking shit myself. I'm genuinely going to... I don't think it's that. I'm hoping it's the motherboard. Hassan for the sub, Jovani for the fringe bets. Can you play high on life? Oh, my God. Liam for the sub. Here we are. C. It's not as... Ixy for the 3,000... Uh, not 3,000 bits. For the 300 bits. Uh, says, I love you, Joe. Bit parasocial. Uh, you love my content, or you love me. If you love me, bit parasocial. But thank you for the 300 bets. Terrible as you said it was. You're right. It's way worse. <laughs> Come oh, on. It probably smells Lord, like please don't say that. This farm has been in our family for three generations. It's part of the Adams family legacy. This is one weekend of your entire life. It's not going to kill you. Can we just stay in a hotel or something? I mean, I'm sure there's a St. Regis around here. Yo, I'm dead-ass disowning my kid if they're that much of a dickhead. I'm never gonna let them... Because it's how you raise your kid, right? Like, if your kid's an asshole and they're, like, fucking 16, you made them an asshole, right? Like, it's your fault, right? It's how they're raised. Because, like, yeah, you're, you're your own person, you're your own personality. But, like, just the idea of respecting someone is how you raised them. And so it's just like, their kid sucks because they sucked at being parents. But like, dude, if I ever had to take care of a kid like that and they were just that much of a dickhead, I, I would be like, get the fuck out. Oh, St. Regis out here. A 4090 is three grand now? Yeah, I know. I, pay, I paid three grand for mine. It was 2K retail. I'm just hoping it's not that. I could theoretically return it if it's broken, but I, that's going to be a bitch process to go through. I'm hoping my motherboard's broken and I'll just buy a new one. Well, there's a Best Western a couple cities down. Because motherboards are expensive, but they're not as expensive as, like, my fucking CPU or GPU. But it sold out. We checked. <gasps> Sensei Wu? Sensei Wu? Sensei Wu, Wise Words Wednesday.
While getting ready to do something, never talk about it. If you fail, people will laugh. That's facts! Because if you don't tell them and you fail, they don't know. But if you're like, oh, I'm going to do this, and then you fail, then they're going to say, oh, you failed. But if they don't know you're on that project and you only, only see the success, it's way better. W wise words. W wise words. Mexican for the sub. Surge for the fringe bets. Uh, and Darth for the five. Uh, my school once called Child Protective Services because I went to school and said my mom beat me. But I meant to say my mom hit me because I was a small foreign idiot as a kid. And she got a warning after she said what happened. Holy shit. Uh, bang. 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 Bang, 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 bang. Ah! For the 10 fucking gifteds. Bing Chilling, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Mustard for the fucking sub. And Dylan for the five. Uh, did, you, did your PC start getting problems once you started playing high on life? It blue screened me too. No. My PC that is being fixed is very new. Uh, it had always had that problem. I temporarily fixed it. Uh, and then when I shut off my PC and turned it back on, it just, it was, like, completely fucked. It was fucked from the start. So it's, I think it's a hardware issue. I don't think it's something with a video game necessarily. Uh, but dealing with videos for the five. I'm sorry to hear that year's blue screen from High on Life. Old for the five or ten bits. And Bing Chilling. Thank you for the fucking ten gifted. Thank them if you got a sub. Turns out it's becoming quite the popular trend for city folk to come out and experience the farm life. Why would anyone want to come out here? I'm just saying, the sooner we get back to civilization, the better. Well, if it isn't my favorite city slickers. Uh, <laughs> well, if it isn't my favorite city slickers. Oh, shut up. Just say hi. Just say hi. <laughs> it is so good to see you. Oh what is a fucking city slicker? What does that even mean? Like you pour concrete or something? Big for the sub, two inch for the three inch bits. Sensei Wu returns on the day I get VIP coincidence. I think not. What if I told Sensei Wu? What if I told you I was Sensei Wu and Jesus all in one person? That, bro, what? <laughs> you're claiming that you're, you're both Sensei Wu, which is not that much of a claim. But then you also claim that you're Jesus as well. That is, that is a much higher claim than saying you're a Twitch chatter. Uh, Mopar for the thousand bits. I wrecked my first truck when I was a senior in high school. My, my dad made me ride the bus that was full of bratty freshmen uh, for a month until we could find something else for me to drive. I most definitely wanted to learn. I most definitely learned my lesson. Well, was it your fault that you crashed it or was it somebody else's? Because if it was somebody else's, that just sucks. But if it was yours, then yeah. Hey, sister. Help me hug. Oh. Ah. Yo, can we fast forward through this? I'm not watching this whole damn uh, video. We're gonna fast forward to the interesting points. This is a 26 minute Darman video, bro. Oh, 4.30 a.m. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm killing the chickens. I'm killing the Alright, alright, alright. There's a fair point. If I'm, if I'm sleeping at 4.45 in the morning, the chicken starts fucking mooing. Not mooing. What do they do? Cows moo. Cluck. No. What is it called? What is it called when they do that? That's not a cluck. And they go, ah, 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 ah. What is that? It's a rooster roostering. <laughs> it's a rooster roostering, right? But if, if I'm sleeping at 445 and the rooster starts roostering, I'm going to snap its neck. I'm, I'm going to, it's done. It's over for that thing. <laughs> Why would you put your bed oh. next to a chicken, though? Seems like a bad placement. It does it again. Wow, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> What's for breakfast? Everybody already ate? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Hope it was that rooster. <laughs> Where's John and Jenna? They're out working. They get an early start around here. There's a lot of work to do on the farm. Yo, people who wake up before 6 a.m. are insane. 
What is like, what is too early to wake up? I think waking up, like if you wake up and the time says five, it starts with five, you're insane. That or you have a shit, you have a fucking shitty job. Bro, waking up that damn early, then you got to go to bed at like 8 p.m. That shit sucks. Mopar for the 300 bits. It was my fault I was being stupid on a back dirt road. Uh, dude, the first day I got my car, um, because I got a used Camaro. Or not the first day. It was like the first week. First week, I got a uh, used Camaro. I went on a back road uh, where no one goes, and I went 120 miles an hour. And I almost hit a deer. I would have died. I, I literally would have died. Uh, and since then, I no longer uh, gas it for no... Well, I'll gas my car. But I won't go on a back road where deer are and just gun it for no fucking reason. It was really stupid. SL for the three. Name something that went well today. Bro, th this, are, are you trying to redeem a channel point redemption that no longer exists? Name something that went well today. Nothing thus far. I got a haircut. That's about it. Uh, I'm still waiting on my new PC. If that, if they told me my new PC was ready, oh my god, I'd fucking be so happy. Jovani for the three bits. Uh, bro just said another skin as smooth as a goose. When did I ever say that? Uh, or what did I say that was cringy like that? Uh, Austin for the three bits. Apparently, uh, from Urban Dictionary, it's a term by farmers used to describe Gucci loafer wa wearers. I don't think. Oh wait, so it's people that dress like fancy. Ryan for the three inch bits. I have the same blue screen issue as you erased my SSD, reinstalled Windows, worked perfectly. I already made a partition of my old one, uh, installed a new Windows, didn't work. They already tried to install new Windows, didn't work. That's not the problem. It might be an issue with the SSD and they might have to get a new one, but it would be the entire SSD, not the Windows uh, malware. Um, I already installed all drivers too, so it's not bad. Please, uh, and I thank you for trying to help, but they have the PC. I no longer need to know what's wrong with it. They will figure it out themselves. I spent 10 hours trying to figure it out and couldn't. Reinstalled the drivers, reinstalled Windows, changed everything around, reset the PC, checked everything. Didn't fucking work. I don't get why they don't just hire Tech dude for the five for the 500 bits. I was so happy you reacted to uh, me a couple weeks ago. Uh, back. Bro, a couple weeks ago, back as Donald Trump and my friends in a drama class. That was more than a few weeks ago. That was like two months ago. Big Chalik for the 25 fucking subs. Two inch for the 300 bits. No cap, that daughter is extremely fine. Like so absurdly. Bro, stop. Oh my God. We'll play two inches dono. Bro, fucking Big Chalik for the 25 the gifted. Fine. Like absurdly so fine, I would let a porcupine shot all its needles at me, then pour lava on my nuts and fist fight Black Bear for her. I would do anything BC. I'm a munch munch gang all day, baby. Bing chilling for the fucking 25 gifted. And what the fuck, two inch? Tell me, uh, Tomas for the three. You should play Until Dawn. It's similar to games you've played. Uh, I don't know if I can. Uh, oh, watching from Slovakia. Well, that's cool. Uh, what time is it there? And I don't know if I'm going to play until dawn. Uh, is that a PlayStation exclusive? If it is, I can't play it right now at least. Because eh, I don't own a PlayStation. But uh, maybe one day. Uh, but I also have Little Hope and a few other story-based games that I'm going to be playing soon. Similar games that you played. Uh, yeah, I know. It's like similar to Little Hope and all the Dark Anthology-esque games. There are people to do it for. Oh, and Big Chilling. Thank you for the fucking 25 gifted uh, again, bro. That's actually insane. Um... I mean, clearly they could use it. This place looks like it could blow away in a gust of wind. Hey, someone's awake. I would have been up sooner if it weren't for all that crowing at some ungodly hour. <laughs> yeah, that's our rooster, Pedro. He didn't bother you, did he? Bro's name is Pedro? No. How do you name a rooster? How do you name a rooster? Like, at, like, and why? Aren't you gonna kill them? Are you gonna kill... Isn't it like a number one rule? Yo, fucking hell, somebody redeemed Flex again. Isn't it like a number one rule to not name an animal that you're going to kill? Just because then you get attached to it. That's like, yeah, I'm going to name my cow Gertrude, and then you fucking murder it. Now you're eating Gertrude. I love being woken up before it's light out. Yo, W. Pedro, though, for waking up the uh, this girl that's fucking annoying as shit. Oh my gosh, I'm starving. Oh, don't tell me there's a chicken Who do I talk there. to to make me some eggs? Oh, Brooke. 
Uncle John and Cousin Jenna don't have a chef like we do. You got a chef? You got a chef? Thank you, son. Before I head back out you to- You don't kill roosters, you use them to breed. Bitch, I didn't know that. I ain't work on a farm. Finish but you, oh my gosh, you're a lifesaver. I thought you ate roosters. You use chicken, I thought you use chickens for eggs, and then you eat roosters. Oh no, they just kill the, they already, oh, we watched that vegan teacher video where they just kill the men, unless they're breeding them. Okay, I remember it now. I like them sunny side up with just a dash of lemon pepper. Thank you. I'll throw it at her head. Lemon pepper? Ugh. Still no service. How does anyone live out here? You can survive for one weekend. I'll be back home tomorrow night. Can't come soon enough. Well, you certainly know your way around the kitchen, Jen. <laughs> Why does she, if she keeps saying she has no service, why is she going on her phone? What the fuck is she playing? Subway surfers? That's the one thing I do when I have no fucking service. Dead ass. I'm still probably in the middle of a fucking game. Let's see if it's if it has my save point. Bro, dead ass. I literally only play Subway. Do y'all have one game on your phone for when you have no connection? It's Subway surfers. <laughs> literally, oh, dude, they literally reset my game. Bro, high score of 1.8 million. I'm pretty fucking fire at this game, no lie. It's Pickle from the Fringe Bits. When are you going to play High on Life? Dude, I've answered this like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but I, I, I answered this like 17 times this stream. When are you going to play High on Life? Why, where did you stop? I had to leave stream. What do you mean, where did you stop? I had to leave stream. Uh, Mag for the sub, Bing for the sub. You're saying for High on Life? I don't even remember. I beat one of the, I beat the triple boss. The one with like all the brothers or whatever. Uh, and I'm playing it tomorrow. I'm not explaining that again. I've explained it like 15 times this stream. Doc for the thousand bets. I'm not going to explain why I'm playing it tomorrow. My I have an old PC. I'm on my old PC right now. My new PC is being fixed. I don't have high on life. I can't play it today. Doc for the thousand bets. Missed yesterday's stream here, is, uh, here for today's. And what's this week's schedule? Ah! Thank you for the thousand bets. How to get that out there. Because I can't... I, I, yo, I know people flood in randomly, and I'm live early today. I, yo, but it's just like, when I say something, like, the, se I've said, how many times have I explained that? It's been an hour, I've said it like 15 times. Today is reactions. Tomorrow, if I have my new PC, which I should, finishing eye on, like, Thursday, uh, or that's Thursday. Friday, we are doing Fortnite and Valorant. Saturday, Christmas Eve, we're doing Switch Sports. And then Christmas reacts, uh, meaning like cr scary, scary short films that are Christmas related. Saturday, or wait, and actually, Xbox Point Discord and join the Discord and send scary videos and other videos for me to react to on Saturday. It'll be a shorter stream Christmas Eve, but still like two hours. Christmas Day, uh, I'll be live for like an hour. I'll probably just do just chatting. Remember my name. I'm gonna assassinate Santa next day, next Macy's Day Thanksgiving parade. I don't think you will. Uh, I think they do actually have pretty good security there. Bing for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Bing chilling. Chicken for the sub. And Marcos for the fringe bets. <gasps> the oldest short words, yes and no. Those are required the most thought. What? The oldest, shortest words, yes and no, are those which require the most thought. True. That is actually true. Hey, what, John Bros for the fringe bets. All right. I'm going to... Okay. If anybody... Do I have been pausing nonstop. I appreciate all the fucking donos. But I am eight minutes into this video. We've been watching this video for like 40 minutes. I'm, if I don't read your bit dono, I'm probably going to just watch the rest of this vid, then catch up on the donos, or, or watch a bit of the vid, then catch up on the donos, because they're kind of sporadically going in every minute, and I'm not getting to the, any of the video, right? So I will read the donos, uh, but I'm not going to pause immediately every single time now. John for the 300 bits. Greetings from Australia. Love the vid. Can you play Red Dead Redemption? Never. Mag for the 300 bits. Uh, when are you reacting to the slideshow about pets? Uh, that's not even made yet, and probably next week. Also, exclamation point Discord, you guys can submit your pet into the discord i'm going to be raiding your guys's pets probably when i get back uh or right before i leave for uh my vacation from december 30th to january 5th i will not be live i'm going to be raiding your guys's pets though psa if your pet is fucking ugly as shit or weird i'm going to make fun of it okay um that's the whole point of the stream i'm gonna make fun of some pets i'm gonna say some pets are cute or cool 
If you want to submit your pet, exclamation point Discord, there is a tab where you can submit a picture of your pet. Uh, and the video suggestion tab for videos to react to. Duck for the 500 bets. So what's the schedule, JK? We can't wait for the high on life. All right. Happened. I picked up most of the cooking. I've gotten pretty good at it, if I may say so myself. Well, maybe you can teach Brooke a thing or two. Hold up. I'll spam the Discord link because people are trying to join it. Wow, crazy how when I shout out the video suggestion tab, nobody wants to join the Discord. But then when I shout out that you guys can submit your pet, everybody jumps to it. Mm. Crazy, right? Crazy, right? Tidy for the three bets. If you want to get Xbox Game Pass, uh, you could get a new PC. Uh, I'm not getting Xbox Game Pass for one day of streaming. Uh, Tidy, thank you for the three hundred bets though, uh, and for the recommendation. But I'm, it's already React Day. There's no point in me doing that. You know, your mom would have been so proud of you. I hope you know that. Hey, Brooke. Yo, can we skip this shitty ass Darman video? It's good quality. It's so fucking slow. <laughs> oh, get to some action! Fuck! Where's the, where's the, where's the fucking climax? Why, well, yo, this is starting to piss me off. Where's the, where's the, uh, the teacher stabbing the student? And then fucking learning their lesson on not to stab people. Or some shit. Holy fuck! <laughs> good one. We're serious. It'd be good if you'd experience life on the farm. Plus your Uncle John. He's been looking for a couple of extra helping hands around here. <laughs> Dude, this yep. one's like boring as fuck. It's like they're trying to attempt the more movie quality. Which is like good. But it's also just like they're kind of losing the whole like why Darman's funny. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Mm. Pick me up in a couple hours. No can do. Yo, can we skip this? Somebody said invalid link. That's on your end. The Discord, the Discord link does work. Uh, Wakanda for the sub. Can we skip this? Already behind schedule. Can we skip? Can we skip? Not Zach for the sub. Skip. 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 It is invalid. It's not invalid. Is the Discord link invalid? Somebody check. Somebody check and let me know. It's not invalid. I liter It literally just brought me right to the fucking Discord. Y'all are actually all cappers. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Cap. Literal cap. Literal cap. Wrong. All right. Mason for the fucking 300 bits. Not Zach for the sub. Uh, what is the tab suggestion under the Discord? I can't find it. Dude, just, it, it's not, it's not hard to find. The video suggestion tab has a big red dot. Right under that is the pet tab. You probably have them closed. All right, we're skipping this, bed. The link works? It does. Yeah. All right, raw meat is all I eat. A truly video. This guy only eats raw meat. Let's watch. What does that say? Oh, shit. Contains footage some viewers may find upsetting. About 90% of my diet is raw sheep meat. Raw sheep meat too? Oh God. I'm just some buddy living in obscurity. Eating my intestine smoothies in my kitchen. That must smell foul. Foul. Obscurity. Dude. That's literally an intestine smoothie. That shit already probably reeks. When you fucking blend that, it smells even worse. Eating my intestine smoothies in my kitchen. Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky. My name's Derek Nance. I'm from Lexington in the state of Kentucky. For the last nine years, I've been sourcing and butchering and eating. Oh my God, he literally, his home fridge is just a fucking rack of raw meat. <clears throat> what is that? What is that thing dangling there? It looks burnt and shriveled. It looks like a witch's finger. Raw animals, and I've never felt healthier. Joe, you asked why did you, got, why did you go live early? The only reason I went live early today is in case they call me and tell me my PC's ready so I can get it after stream. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to pick it up today. But it also might not be ready today. The reason I'm going live tomorrow, Friday, and the rest of the week is just because you guys are off. Uh, in the summer, I stream at 2 p.m. EST every day. 
Uh, during the school year, I stream two on weekends and 4.30 on weekdays just to fit your guys' schedule. I work around you guys. You guys don't work around me, generally. Uh, unknown and Mason for the sub. This is a ram's testicle from a three-year-old ah! ram. It has a more salty taste. It's oh, not Rose got it on a hook. Not like red meat. It's more of like a seafood almost. Oh my god, why not just eat seafood rather than a fucking sheep nut? Why not just, why not just oh, you know, it kind of resembles seafood. Maybe just, you know, get some shrimp or tilapia or tuna or something like that rather than having your fucking living room, fr or not living room fridge, your kitchen fridge with a fucking sheep ball just on a hook. What is that? I hope he explains what that is. That looks awful. It's not like red meat. It's more of like a seafood almost. Growing up, I just had the standard American diet, and had allergies and headaches and asthma and other signs of, you know, food intolerance issues where I noticed certain foods were really giving me trouble. Oh! I'll chew a wad like rawhide, and I'll just chew it like gum throughout the day. <gasps> oh, how long do you think it takes to chew? Oh, my God. Have you ever had, like, a slightly undercooked steak? I'm not talking about, like, medium rare. I'm talking about, like, rare getting to blue rare. Like, pretty fucking rare. Dude, it's chewy. It's literally chewy as shit. Bro is just eating that. I think it helps polish my teeth. Finally, I came across the Weston Price Foundation, and they do studies of indigenous diets. Eventually discovered the meat-based diet and just decided that, you know, I'll give it a try. I was having so much trouble digesting everything else that meat seemed to work well for me. And I just felt like... Bro, that might be the dumbest shit. Like, I okay, I, I, there's going to be a lot of people that might disagree with me in, like, the fucking Liver King community. But what he just said right there makes no damn sense. He just said that it's easier for him to digest meat that is raw. It is, it is the whole point of cooking food is so you digest it easier. Am I wrong? Like, the whole purpose of fire to cook food is so you can release it and make it easier to digest and obtain the calories and the nutrients from it easier. I'm wrong? How? Like, I, dude, I'm almost entirely sure. Why is cooking food good? Cooking food breaks down some of its fibers and plant cell walls, if it's a plant, making it easier for the body to digest and absorb the nutrients. Cooking also generally improves the taste and aroma of food, which makes it much more enjoyable to eat. Ratio. Fucking ratio. I don't know if that generally applies to all meat, but the idea of cooking food is so it's easier to digest. Another angel for the tier 3 fucking sub. Probably my old, like, one of my only tier 3 subs. Thank you for the tier 3 sub. Uh, Moist for the 400 bits. Uh, the Discord link's not pulling anything up for me. That is a glitch on your part. The Discord link should work. It is discord.gg uh, slash Joe Bart. Um, Mason for the sub. I can put the link again, but it should work. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, this was it. All right, so ready to prepare a stomach smoothie. Oh, God. You can smell it, too. So here's the small intestine. The whole parts, you know, different parts of the intestines. They all go into my smoothie. And I can eat this and f be fine with it. But, like, isn't there, sh isn't there, like, fucking shit in there? Not, like, actual poop, necessarily. But, like, digested parts, unless he cleaned it out. But even then, dude, oh, my God. There has to be something in there. Like, no, you don't, you don't just eat a fucking intestine smoothie. Without any fear that the bacteria are going to come out to get me, because I actually think that they're beneficial. So, I just make it into a smoothie, and it just makes it, like, all creamed together, and it's just much more consistent, easier. Like a quick on-the-go snack. Oh, my God, it's just water and intestines. On-the-go snack. On-the-go snack. I need to see him chug this. I, I, don't, I don't believe that he will drink this and not fucking vomit. And my girlfriend made me designate a blender because I used to use her blender. Yeah. It holds that residual stomach smell. Save that for dessert. Oh, oh my god, it looks like yogurt. Oh, it looks like yogurt. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
stomach smell. Oh! Ooh, that fucking plop. Ooh, that did it for me. Oh my god, dude, it probably reeks. I mean, it doesn't look bad because it's just like the consistency of like pudding. But like, it's definitely not tasty. Save that for dessert. I believe that the nourishment that are in raw animal foods is far superior because there's certain nutrients that when undergoing the cooking process gets uh, cooked out. I could sit here and chew on this bone for a good 15, 20 minutes. What are you, a dog? <laughs> That's the shit I would give Daisy. Bro, sitting here fucking gnawing on a raw bone, bro. What are you, what are you, what are you a fucking lion? Like a dog. Nah. Yeah, yeah, literally like a dog, bro. But I'm gonna crack it open and get some of the marrow out. Mm. Instead of just going to the store and picking out a prepackaged chunk of meat and a, with a label on it, I'd prefer to go directly to the source. I'll drive out to small family farm. I load up the animals in my truck and I take them back to the house here and uh, I butcher them in the backyard. Why not let them, why not let the, the people at the farm kill it? Like, like, I understand what he's saying. Oh, he wants to get the meat more fresh. Why are you, why are you picking them? Wouldn't it be way easier to pick them up dead than alive? Like, you go over to the farm, you just pick up, like, three dead goats. That's much easier than, like, getting them in your car. They're fucking, like, scared as shit, meeping the whole time. Then you take, I don't even know what the fuck meeping is. You bring them back, and then you just fucking kill them in your backyard. That's fun. It's fun! I'm not saying it's, like, bad, right? Like, you have to kill the animal to eat it. What do you mean it's fun? I don't think it's fun. God, bro. Whenever I, I get a... F I would never think that would be fun. Why doesn't he just do butchering as, like, a job? If he genuinely thinks just slaughtering animals is fun. Fresh animal in. I prefer eating, you know, the whole animals with all the organs and all the different tissues because it, it adds variety to a diet that you'd think Dude, would be what bland. is that? That just looks like fat. And this is the kidney and the kidney fat. And it's a, it's really nutritious and it's a good part of the diet, but it might be an acquired taste for some. Hey, where oh. am I going to sit? Yo, like that shit looks good as hell. Bro's plate is just a fucking just raw ass lukewarm beef or not beef fucking what is he eating lamb sheep some shit well let me sit in i have four kids and I, I live with my partner my girlfriend was primarily vegetarian i would have probably remained a vegetarian if derek hadn't come into my life i think that the way derek harvests meat is much more ethical yo than imagine Yo, imagine. Hey, kids, just picked up some goats. Woo! Watch this. Sh fucking slits their throat. Go inside and play some games. Daddy's got to kill the fucking goats. And buying it from a grocery store. Here's my skinning rack. And I got a... Huh, there's where that knife went. Skinning rack. Depending on the size a of... Wooden, a wooden block. The animal. A full-grown sheep around 175 pounds for, I don't know, about $200. I mean, 200 American dollars, and you can live off of that for about a month. And that's 90% of my food. Food, American dollars, and you can, I don't know, about $200. I mean, 200 American dollars, and you can live off of that for about a month. Wait, is he saying you can live off the food for a month? Or you can live off $200? Because you are not living off of $200 a month. That's like, that's like not livable. He's saying the food. Okay, I, I, bro, I thought he was saying that he got $200 and that's enough. 
I was gonna say, bro, that's what is that a year? Fucking nothing. <gasps> oh my god. And that's ninety percent of my what is that a year? Five months is a thousand. That's two thousand two hundred dollars. Wait. Two thousand four hundred dollars. Yeah, twenty four hundred a year. My food. <laughs> I've had my kids be a part of the process since uh, they were real little. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone would think it's strange. Hey, let's so see if we can find some eggs for me. Well, can we eat them raw? If you want. <laughs> I've never seen them eat anything else. Can we eat them raw? Bro just asked to eat the eggs raw. That I'm not even shocked about. Like, people eating raw eggs. Like, there's actually a lot of people that eat raw eggs. Especially if they're, like, farm-raised. Insane for the sub, purple for the sub, sci-fi for the sub. What? We're used to it. Well, my friend, he said it was, it was kind of weird. I said, yeah, it is weird. My chicken's coming. Yeah, they're fresh. They're so pretty. I had issues with the teachers reporting me because they found out that I was butchering animals in front of the kids. Oh, he don't even tell them to go inside. Oh, he just, he don't even tell them to go in. He just fucking, he just fucking kills them. Oh, he just fucking kills them. I mean, like, is that fucked? Is that bad? I, I don't know. Like, I mean, you can, I don't know how that would affect a kid, right? Like, if, if, if you're raising a kid and he's watching you kill an animal, is that gonna is that gonna hurt them? I don't know. I don't think that's bad necessarily. If you're if you're like just kind of, wait, hold up. Oh, I thought. Oh my god, I thought my PC was ready. It's not. It was a fucking TikTok notification. No, I I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily bad. If you're if you're teaching them not to just do it to any animal and you're just doing it for food, I think that's fine. Uh, I mean, they might be kind of disturbed by it initially, but then they would probably get used to it. I don't oh. think his kids are going to be murderers. See, now, I like y y y saying that, oh, if a kid sees them kill or, or saying that if a kid sees their dad kill a goat or some shit, they're going to kill people like that. May, that's the same. That's as stupid, in my opinion, as people saying, like, if you play Fortnite, you're going to murder someone. If you play Call of Duty, you're going to be a school shooter. Like, that's, that's, it's, it's in the same level of stupidity. Because, like, humans were raised to basically kill animals. Like, before society, you would, a kid would watch their dad probably murder, a, like, a buffalo or some shit. Like, if you're, as long as you're telling them, like, oh, don't kill animals for fun, kill them for food. Like, I don't, I don't see that as bad. Uh, insane for the 300 minutes. Do you remember the PC I told you about I was getting for my birthday? I got an even better one, an i7 13th gen. It's 32 gigabytes of RAM and an RTX 3060. That's actually very good. Uh, and the 32 gigabytes of RAM will be pretty powerful, too. I don't think you ever really need more than 32 um, if you're not, like, a streamer. And even I'm a streamer, and I only have 32. Insane for the sub. That is a good PC. Congrats. Oh, that's oh somebody been... redeemed Flex? 16 is generally enough for most people. Resolve. After... <laughs> 60 gigabytes of RAM. 32... Is kind of, 64 is overkill as shit. 32 is kind of overkill. I've explained to the social workers it's what I do to harvest my foods. It's hard to, to be the odd child whose dad does a lot of crazy things. And... But, like, it doesn't taste good. Like, I would want, at least want some salt on that shit. Like, you just crack an egg open right into your mouth. Like, dude, I would need some salt and pepper or some shit. At least get some flavor, not some just goo. I don't see why a child couldn't eat raw meat as much as they want, as long as it comes from a good, clean animal. We've been raised. I don't think this guy is that nuts. Y'all remember the vid? Okay, I think it's odd, but do y'all remember the video of the dude that would buy prepackaged like store beef and then just eat it? Like that's dirty. Right, like that, like that, like ground beef. Like, bro would buy ground beef prepackaged and just fucking eat it. Like, that's dirty as shit, right? But this, if he's killing the animal himself, he's cleaning it. 
Like, I mean, there could be some downsides, but, like, I don't see... I don't see it as bad as buying, like, ground beef from a grocery store and just fucking eating that shit. Because that is definitely full of bacteria. It's under the paradigm that germs are the root cause of all disease, we've decided to just sterilize everything to, to cook the life out of it. So this... No, you cook... You don't cook the life out of it. You cook food to digest it easier. Dude, that's like the one dumb fucking point he keeps making. I'm, am I wrong? I, dude, why do we cook meat? Cooking meat breaks down any tough fibers and connective tissue, which makes it easier to digest on the body and chew and swallow. Leads to better nutrient absorption. In addition, it kills harmful bacteria like salmonella and E. coli. Yeah, like, like that point just makes no fucking sense. Play high on life right now. Yo, for the last fucking time, high on life is not going to happen today, okay? For the last time, my new PC is not in. Uh, I literally don't have high on life on this computer. Compost heap's been going for about five years, and it's really rich. You just searched that up? No, I didn't. I googled, why do you cook food, not cook meat? Like, I'll, I'll bury whole bones down here, kind of like a dog. I feel like I need something to chew on. And, don't tell uh, me he digs it back up and, and fucking chews on it. I don't really eat the meat, but I do eat the maggots. These maggots are... Ah. 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 Okay, okay, now you're losing me. All right, now you're, now you're fucking losing me. Dude, what? You bury the bones, dig it back up, and eat the fucking maggots? evolved to digest rotten flesh I could probably utilize those digestive enzymes and bacteria to digest my own food but I wouldn't recommend it to just anybody for the most part I react Bro, very there's no fucking way he literally buries bones and then digs them bitches back up and eats the maggots on them like, uh, I'm just not, like, dude, I don't even give a fuck about the enzyme efficiency of that, bro. You're digging up rotting shit and eating the fucking stuff that eats that. I understand his logic, but still, bro, that shit, oh my god, it probably tastes fucking terrible. Very well to raw meat. This is my fresh liver. I like to do a little aged meat with each of my meals, so. <gasps> oh, that's aged! You're eating aged, oh my god, no, that's not safe. If he's eating aged meat that's still raw, I feel like that's really unsafe. Because at that point, it is developing bacteria. Right? Unless he's cutting off maybe the outer layer, but even then, like, if you're eating aged meat, you, I feel like you should definitely cook that comparable to, like, a fresh cook, like, a fresh killed goat or some shit. I'll leave this liver hanging up here for about two months. And it ferments and it has a probiotic like effect see oh, there's God. actually mold growing on it and sometimes I'll just eat it right off the ah, no no see that's what we're not doing bro what the fuck see like bro he made some solid points he did but like oh god damn dude that's fuck yo no that's that's foul that's foul you're eating moldy liver. Peace. Mm. Oh, what the fuck happened? Hello? Hello? Can you guys see me? Hello? What is happening? What is happening? Dude, what the fuck? Are we back?
Yo, what the fuck? Are we good? Hello? Hello? I think we're back. I think we're fucking back. Are we back? We're back. We're back. We're back. Refresh. 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 We're back. Dude, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? That shit just fucking froze. That shit just fucking froze out of nowhere, bitch. Yo, spam refresh. Spam refresh. It's laggy as fuck. Am I actually lagging? Am I lagging? What the fuck? It was the Disney sniffer? I don't think it was the Disney fucking sniffer, dude. Ticket line, you dragged me. Hold up. It should be good now. Yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck happened? Yo, unpin this dumbass message from Jake. Holy shit. Holy shit. Refresh. Refresh. Yo, I literally can't delete this message. It should be good. Yo, unpin this dumbass message. All right, yeah, there we go. All right, we're back. I don't know what the fuck happened there. My stream just crashed for no reason. We should be good now. Refresh the page. I gotta pee anyway. So, I mean, that's gonna give me a fucking signal to go take a piss. Christmas vibe music non copyright. Hold up. Are we good now, chat? Yes or no? Are we good? Are we good? Yes or no? Are we good? Yes? Okay, what the fuck? Dude, okay, let me go take a piss real quick. Count me down 30 seconds. I don't know what the fuck happened, but that shit just glitched for no fucking reason. Count me down 30 seconds. As shit that it fucking did that. Like, that makes no sense. All right. Are we good again? Are we good again? Andrew for the sub, Jake for the three minutes. I was, I wanted to try out the pin feature. Yeah, but you put rip, meaning like my stream ended. It's for the sub, Erickson for the sub. Don't do that because that people probably left because of that. Mr. Rag for the sub, uh, Q for the sub, Caden and BV for the sub, Nimble Shark, Mr. V-Card for the sub, Needed for the fringe bets. Don't forget to save me a spot, my Discord, I have two dogs and three cats, so I have a lot. Well, I'm, I can't save you a spot because Cruzable is making the, uh, collection for the raiding pet stream. Uh, you would have to talk to him for that. Nick for the sub. Alright, can we get back in the video chat, yes or no? Are we good? Let's get back into the vid. Yeah, why didn't you guys even hear me say last? I was saying that shit's fucking gross. Bro ate raw ass liver. Raw, not even raw ass liver. Raw ass rotting liver. And sometimes I'll just eat it right off the... Yeah. Uh, no! Peace. I'll eat it and just the taste... You're still lagging? Am I lagging, chat? Yeah, or yes or no? Marshall for the thousand bits. Ian for the thousand bits. Can you say hi, Ian? Hello, Ian. Andrew for the sub. No? Okay, we're good. I don't know what that was. That was just literally like a 10-second crash. It was so odd. It, it, I, was, I was streaming an 8,000 bit rate. It just went to zero and then back up to fucking AK. It was very odd there. Uh, I'm sorry it crashed. I, don't, I, I literally don't even know why it did that. Taste of it just wakes me up. Some people drink coffee. Other people, you know, have their morning... Would y'all do this? How, how much would somebody have to pay y'all to do this? For a week, you have to live like him, and you have to eat the you have to eat the mold. You have to eat the fucking moldy ass liver a lot. I feel like I would get very sick. I don't know how he's doing this and not getting like absurdly sick. 
I know his body's probably getting used to it, but he's genuinely eating mold. And not like a good mold. Stimulant, and this is mine. Tell me your stream schedule. Ah! In the summer, 2 p.m. EST every day. In the school year, which is now 2 p.m. EST on weekends, 4.30 on weekdays. But since we're, most people are either getting on Christmas break or are on Christmas break or winter break, today I streamed early um, because I'm probably going to go get my new PC if it's done after stream. If not, I'm going to get it tomorrow if it's done then as well. Uh, and so for tomorrow through the 30th, I'm going to be streaming a bit early every day just because you guys are off. And uh, since it's like the holiday festivities, I also have like family events and shit I got to do. So I'm going to be streaming a bit earlier. Today we're doing reactions. Tomorrow I should be finishing High on Life with my new PC. Uh, Friday is going to be Fortnite and Val. Saturday is going to be Switch Sports and uh, Christmas Scary Reacts exclamation point Discord. You guys can join the Discord uh, and send scary Christmas videos for me to react to. Uh, I already have a bunch, uh, but I don't actually need that many because it will be a shorter stream. Christmas Day, I'll only stream for like an hour, and then we're back on to the next week. I'll give a rundown of that later on. December 30th through the 5th, I will not be live. That is my uh, last break for this winter. Uh, December 30th through January 5th. I might be live January 5th, but uh, I'm definitely gone from, Jan uh, from December 30th to the 4th. I haven't had any real adverse effects. There's only been a couple instances of, like, diarrhea. And only a few instances. Yeah, my, my shit is, like, really watery, like, all the time. Like, the last time I had a solid poop was maybe four years ago. Uh, every day I sit on the toilet and I just, you know, I douse the bowl in, in what looks like brown water. Uh, and maybe, like, a chunk or two will fall out. But, you know, I think, I think, I'm, I think I'm healthy. There's only been a couple instances of like diarrhea and a food poisoning from a eating old raw chicken. That you ate old raw chicken. Ain't that like the dumbest shit you could possibly do? Old raw chicken. What the fuck? <laughs> Reiner for the sub. It's not lagging, chat. What the fu- Is it lagging? Bro, like, yo, I'm actually gonna start fucking banning people that- that spam lag when it's not lagging. Like, it's genuinely not lagging. Not at all. It is not lagging, it's not repeating. Dude, nothing's wrong. Like, you're just trying to be- you're- you're literally trying to get fucking attention, dude. Holy shit. Not lagging. Shut up. Reiner for the sub. I shouldn't have left in the fridge. Why would I lie? Manifest, what's happening? You're saying it's lagging. Is it lagging? What do you mean it's lagging? For a week. I hope to eat the raw meat diet for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, I mean, I've invested 10 years in it, and I'm, and now Bro, He's I'm been doing this for 10 years? Really curious to see, you know, how far I can push it. Say if I could- It's going up and down? No, it's not! I have not dropped bitrate at all since that mini fucking segment. Manifest. If the quality is dropping, that's you. Is the quality dropping and going back up and down, chat? No. It's your it's your Wi-Fi manifest at that point. I understand it lagged on my part. Maybe refresh the stream or some shit. It's not going up and down. It's not. Rich factor. Like, I, I, I'm not saying that you're lying. I'm saying it's not me. It would live to be 80 years old. Then it would validate a lot of the theories that I have about this diet and how it is viable. Yeah, but saying that you lived a long life and that that means your diet was great, not really true, right? Like, there's a lot of people that smoke cigarettes for 45 years and still somehow live to the age of 90. Uh, that does not mean that smoking cigarettes aided their health. You know what I mean? That's just kind of like a genetic chance there. Four inch for the sub. Uh, all right. The next fucking video. Uh, driving the most expensive tiny car in the world. You see this strange looking car right here? Well, it's got 800 horsepower. It's faster than a Tesla. 
800 horsepower in that car. How? 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 Where are you fitting? I'm not saying where are you fitting the horsepower, but what engine or what is it running to where it has... I, if you guys don't know a lot about horsepower, dude, like an uh, like a V6 or even a V8 sports car might run like, what, five, 600? Like, dude, 800 horsepower. That's insane for a fucking car that small, too. That's insane even if it wasn't small. Well, it's got 800 horsepower. Someone just said, where's the horses? Yeah, where are the 800 horses pulling this vehicle? It's faster than a Tesla, and it costs... Somebody said, please unban Silly Willy. Yo, I'll look up what you did. I'll look up what you did, because every time somebody tells me this, they always just, like, said the N-word in my chat or some shit. Could you unban me? I did nothing wrong. Yeah, hold up. Let me look at what you did. Uh, you got banned for... Who guessed it? Who guessed it? And ban the other account. And ban the other account. And, oh, what did I say? And my prediction was right. What did I say? And my prediction was right. And we ban the other account. What did... Oh, who guessed it? Please unban my other account. Bro, you said the N-word. You didn't say the N-word. You were trying to say the N-word. You were trying to say the N-word in my chat. $300,000. For a fucking smart car. 300 grand. Faster than a Tesla and it costs. Yo, that car is ugly as fuck. 300 grand. How fast does that car fucking go? Three. You better fucking sell me this car, bro. That thing looks ass. You go around a turn in like a fucking 10 degree angle, your car's flipping. That thing looks so bad. $800,000. Why? Well, today I got my hands on the Tango T600. I'm gonna figure out why this thing even exists and if it's worth the quarter million dollar price tag. <laughs> So the mirrors fit, the car fits. Dude, I would be genuinely nervous that this car would flip. Like, does this look like... It, dude, this looks more top-heavy than, like, a Jeep. Like, I feel like if you just went like this, like, slightly, slightly too quick, your car's flipping. Is it repeating for only me? Dude, I don't know. Is stream repeating for you guys? I, it shouldn't be. Like, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a stream repeat. I'm not seeing anything on my end. No? I don't know, like, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I, if everyone was saying yes, I would be like, okay, this is a problem. But if stream isn't repeating for 90% of the people, it might be on your end. Um, it's not anymore. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised if it was when it was glitching out, but now it shouldn't be. It was 30 minutes ago. Okay, well, that's not... <laughs> that was 30 minutes ago. You know what I mean? Like, that's not now. Right? I don't see... I don't see an issue there. That shouldn't be on my end. So the mirrors fit, the car fits. Go sneak into the front here. And I also brought Joby along because it takes two to tango. Welcome to Donut. Yo, it takes two to tango. Two people can't even fit in the fucking car. As much as I love cars, sometimes I need a break from them. And go on a cruise in something a little different. Something like a tank. Is this an ad? You can go out, Jorah. What are the odds this is an ad? What are the odds this is an ad? Running in a tank too, thanks to today's sponsor, War Thunder. Birth another car. There we go. Our birth another car. Not yet. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> So what the heck is? Dude, and that thing is what? Three inches from the ground? Any fucking bump, that car is bottoming out. Like you, you're not driving that shit. A Tango T600. This is an American-made electric car that came out in 2005. Oh, it's electric. That's why it has fucking 800 horsepower. I was going to say, how do you even fit a fucking engine in that thing? 
three years before the Tesla Roadster. The goal of this car was to be super safe, handle like a race car, and reduce traffic by being super oh, two small. Two people can fit. How the fuck is he fitting in that car? Let's take a look at the Tango, huh? Oh my God, <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this thing. Yeah, well this is like yeah, a Yeah, I don't know about safe too. This is supposed to be super safe. Chat, you get in a head-on collision with a Ford F-250 in this car. Who's living? Who is surviving that encounter? Not this car. <laughs> not this car. I'm not even going to say a Ford F-250 is the fucking best car you could get. But holy shit. Yeah, safety my ass. You get in a car crash, you're dead. This thing's like got to be fast, right? The company that makes it is called Commuter Cars, and its founder invested millions of dollars into making this car become a reality. I mean, like, I would drive this car. If I was mega rich, right, I might drive this car just around, but I'm not driving this shit, like, as my work vehicle. This would be, like, kind of like a go-kart if you were, like, a millionaire. Like a multi-fucking millionaire. Yeah, you hit a speed bump. You think this thing's getting over a speed bump? Any, the, 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 it's, it's fucking kryptonite. Any speed bump ever. It bottoms out. And people have bought them too. Silicon Valley executives and even George Clooney. Clearly, it's goofy looking, but Isn't I want- George Clooney a Scientologist? Okay, no. Dude, if somebody told me George Clooney, I was going to say, if George Clooney's a Scientologist. No, is it actually any good? Zero to 16. Yeah, that's Tom Cruise. My bad. 0.2 seconds, 39 inches wide, weighs 3,326 pounds, same as a Toyota. How the fuck is it 3,000 pounds? 39 inches wide, weighs 3,326 pounds. Where's the weight? It must be this big. It, I think this is the battery, which is also more worrying that it's that close to the fucking ground. 26 pounds, same as a Toyota Camry. Okay. Over 2,000 pounds under the floor, so super low center of gravity. You want to see where you can rock it? it? Said 56 degrees it takes before it'll tip over. Yeah. We're not even coming close. I, yeah. I really want to test that. I want to see them. I want to see them gun it, and then just go. And fucking whip it and see if that thing flips. I think it will. Right? Shaking a car while it's sitting still is not an accurate test on whether or not it has a low center of gravity. My Jeep Wrangler going around a fucking bend will flip. If I stand on my Jeep Wrangler and go, Oh, oh, I guess, I guess this thing's good enough. Like, that's not... That's not an accurate test to determine whether or not your car's gonna fucking flip on a highway. Uh, yeah. Oh, if I just shake my car and it doesn't flip, I guess it's good. And I'm shaking it pretty hard. Oh, dude, we're gonna be flying like wow. like Maverick and Goose. I love the layout. Yeah, very fighter jet. We're gonna buzz the tower. Dude, look at the dash. This is a this is a race car. It's Mo lagging really hard. Is it lagging or repeating at all for you guys? I'm doing a poll. I'm literally gonna do a poll on this. Because, like, I, dude, like, like, any more. Is it still doing it? Most, most people are saying no. Like, mostly everybody is saying no. Like, I don't know. I, if, if it is, it, dude, like, yeah, 84% of the people are saying no. Yeah, I, like, I, I genuinely feel like you're either fucking with me or, or it's something on your end. Just leave for the sub. Re I would say refresh the stream. If it's if it's lagging, it might be just because it kind of glitched in that second, like, 30 minutes ago. Refresh the stream and see if it works. Tech, the display, Momo, steering wheel. It might be Twitch as well. Because, like, I have no idea why it even glitched. Because it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, a major issue. Like, my stream crashed or something. It was just, it just went, it was, it was fucking weird. It was my stream ending and then went back up. It might be a Twitch issue.
Oh, yeah. seats. So, oh, wow, Reta retractable uh, harnesses. That's pretty cool. Got right. an Alpine head unit. And look at the like roll bar. It's all nicely covered. Yeah, I didn't even see this. OK, so apparently it doesn't have power steering. Doesn't have power brakes. Well, <laughs> power yeah. brakes, I think it, you would want. But power steering, I mean, geez. I feel like you could turn this no problem. Yeah. If you're curious why this feels like a Frankenstein of other car parts, that's because it is. Making a low production car is extremely hard and expensive. So a lot of parts had to come from other manufacturers. If I'm paying $300,000 for this little fucking shit box, why the fuck are you giving me fucking parts out of other cars. Oh, we need a low production cost and all this other shit. Bro, I don't want no damn fucking handbrake from a fucking Honda if if you're if I'm paying fucking over a quarter million dollars for this shit. Lamborghinis do that too? Do they? That handbrake dead ass looks like it's from another car. ...car is extremely hard and expensive. So a lot of parts had to come from other manufacturers' assembly lines. It's interesting. Bro, I don't, I don't think Lamborghini does that. I don't think Lamborghini does that. Chassis and TK for the sub, Bobat for the fucking sub. Interesting to, to try to like decipher where he pulled certain things from, right? Like the I mean, they might, but at, they're doing a fucking better job than this car. I'm not sure exactly what they came out of, but it's a Chrysler. Oh. The taillights, same thing. I don't know what they came out of, but it's definitely some production car. Yeah. We've got a Pontiac Key. <laughs> yeah. It looks like the Miata. Yeah, Lamborghini does not do that, you fucking liars. If they do, it may be for, like, the windshield wipers, bitch. Like, yo, y'all telling me... Dude, every piece of this car is from another car. And it's still fucking 300 grand. Out of like door card bits, Cadillac CTS steering column. It's like a mishmash of. Dude, it looks like an airplane. Card bits, Cadillac. What are, what are these buttons here? That looks like a light switch. What the fuck is this? I, dude, I would panic driving this car. CTS steering column. It's like a mishmash of parts. Yeah, I really wonder if these like doors are bespoke or if they're from something else. Yeah, originally. I don't know. Now, apparently, depending on your gear ratio, this thing. Theoretically, could go 176 <laughs> miles an hour. A hundred and seventy-six miles an hour. That is faster than like most sports cars. I I would love to see someone's face in driving. Whoever the fuck tested this. And went 176. For the love of God, let me see the terror in their eyes as they're fucking whipping it down a highway. These wheels probably rotating at fucking 60, 60 rotations a second. More than that, maybe. And the fucking thing fucking shaking. 176 just fucking going. Dude, you're you're having death flash in your fucking eyes. Going 176 in this fucking car. No. Boring vid, can you change it? L chatter. L chatter. Oh my god. L chatter. I Joe, can you can you please put the Darman vid back on? Can you please put the Darman back? Uh, there's this really cool Darman video that just came out. Can you please put that on instead? Anything that is at all not Darman or Samir Bafnani, I really don't want to watch it. Bro, then, uh, oh my god, just wait for the next fucking video. Next video we're watching is the Logan Paul shit. Then we're on a barehanded shark fishing, a fucking food theory video. We got a bunch of shit, bro. Oh my god. Do you guys like this video? I think this is cool as fuck to watch. Z Smith for the sub, Labby and Pack for the sub. Bro's just complaining. I don't wanna. <laughs> well, let's get it It was a Twitch glitch. I looked it up. Oh, was it really? I'm about to Google. Twitch Twitter. You think they tweeted about it? You think they give a little tweetsies? No, they just tweeted about VTubers. Oh my god.
Do y'all do any of y'all watch V? I okay. I doubt much of my audience does, but I just want to see. Do any of y'all watch VTubers at all? Like a like if you don't know what a VTuber is, it's um basically like a it's a facial recognition thing, but instead of my face, I would have an anime figurine of myself just in the corner. And it would still mimic my voice and everything. Do you guys want to find a VTuber on Twitch? It's basically, it's basically like an animated figure. Not of yourself necessarily, but it's like an animated figure. Starting, look. VTuber. <laughs> We're going on the VTuber category. Here's one. Oh, I gotta watch an ad because I don't have my fucking ad blocker on because this is a whole fucking new PC. Ah! Oh, wait, no. You have to watch an ad on Twitch anyway. God damn. We're really about to sit here for 30 seconds and watch this fucking ad just to witness a VTuber. Hold up. Raid the VTuber? No, I just want to show you guys what a VTuber uh, is generally. Free Xbox wireless controller? No way. No way. Free Xbox wireless controller? Oh, no fucking way. Here's a VTuber. Like 100 points difference. Oh, there's two. All right, here we go. See, it like scans their face and then it kind of like mimics what they do. It's just kind of like an anime figurine of them. Um, I just can't watch that because it at, like, I don't understand the purpose. It's like the same thing as just not having a face cam. I would say, yeah, it's a little bit more maybe, but it's just like, it's not them. I don't know. Out on the road, <laughs> see how but she- VTubers are very popular. Uh, especially outside of the U.S. Cable for the side. Drive, shall we? I can't open my cup holder anymore. There, you're so far back. <laughs> One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. I would be terrified to drive with it. With it. <laughs> with it. Go much faster. I don't know, Joe. This thing's leaning Help! way more than. Help! <laughs> I need to see them go straight and just whip it. Just go a little to the left and a little to the right, and that thing flips. Uh, Joe, I think I'm going to do a launch. Okay. You want to try it? Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah. They got launch control like a Lamborghini. Two, one. Okay, that is actually <laughs> fast as shit. I have truly never been more cramped in a vehicle. <laughs> I think I might... Survive anything but a front end collision. <laughs> <laughs> anything but you're not surviving anything. If you get rear ended, you die. A front end collision, you die. A side collision, you die. It looks like y'all remember that TikTok trend where people were like using a filter to like shrink a car? It looks fake. It looks like that. It literally looks like a fake car. I don't even know, is this road legal? I think I might survive anything but a front end collision. <laughs> it feels like I'm in a, like a NHRA drag car. I'm like, I am in here. It feels like a race car because it's literally built like one. The roll cage meets NASCAR's specification and the company claims it's the world's safest car. One thing- That has to be false advertising. The company claims it's the world's safest car. If if you if you ran a stoplight and got nailed, or somebody runs a stoplight and you get nailed, dude, you're not living that. Maybe the world's safest car if it like flips and you kind of go rolling just because it's not really gonna break. But like I feel like this if this door just goes in, it kills him. He gets crushed. I think the guy mentioned that's pretty interesting is so these are DC motors. Also, those wheels are so damn tiny. One of my chatters brought you yeah, a pothole. If you, if you drive on a road with, like, a pothole that's bigger than this, your, your wheel's just coming off. Or you're, or, you're, or you're dying. One of the two. Those wheels are so small, they would fit inside of a pothole. Yeah, which is pretty nuts. Once you get past 60 miles per hour, there's a controller in here that switches from... Uh, series voltage to parallel so you get twice as much current at the same voltage when you switch over to whatever parallel system they have all right here we go hit it God, you're going on a highway oh! Whoa. <laughs> Was that the ship? so that's the shift so that's the shift from i can see why he warned us about yeah series to parallel it's loud back here <laughs>
<laughs> it's like screaming at me. Yeah. It, the switch from series to parallel <laughs> is, is very... I need to see them go over a speed bump. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> the attention. Yeah, the attention's very fun. Driving around Sacramento in this thing? Yeah. What we do need you think? A, a... My girlfriend just left her modeling agency. I don't know if I say yay or oh no. Which one, chat? We got a 50 50 shot here. We got a 50 50 shot. She, she put a smiley face. I'm going to say, I'm going to say yay. I'm going to hedge my bets and go yay, right? Seeing that she left them and she's talked to me about how they suck. I'm going to say yay. I'm going to say, we're going to hedge our bets here. I'm thinking it's all right. <laughs> this could, well, imagine you go, oh no. no. I feel like going, oh no, would be better than like saying yay and it being a problem. What do you mean? Yay. Oh God. Barbecue boy for the thousand fucking bits. It fits my pickup bed perfectly. It would literally fit. This car would fit in the back of a truck. It actually would. I mean, that is kind of the benefit of this. You could probably. Oh, wait, no, it's 3,000 pounds. Could a truck carry this? I don't know. ST for the sub, crime for the sub. And how would you get it up and down? A ramp, maybe. Duck for the sub. Hey, you know, that is loud right there. Could this be the only car you own? Absolutely not. No way. All right, here we go. We're going to lane split. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Are you allowed to lane? You can lane split in motorcycles. Can you lane split in any vehicle? I don't know because I know it's a law with motorcycles. I don't know what the law would be with a car. <laughs> like, does this count as a car? Like, what would the government, it, would this, would this, would the government say this is a car? It has four wheels, so I would assume so. Somebody, oh my god, I know no one wants to look at us. Isn't it funny? The first six figure car I've driven on donut is <laughs> what do you think? Yo, oh, yeah, you got that. You way got that. Listen, your mirrors are the widest part. So, <laughs> yo, your mirrors... that's a yo, that's a that's a shitty friend, though. That's a shitty friend. No, you got that. Now nah, you fit right in there, bro. Now you got that merge. You're going like 85 on a highway, bro. I gotta get, I gotta get into the left lane. Now you, now you're good. You're good. You ever ever, yo? That's how you know whether or not your friends fucking shitty. I, if you've ever been in a car like late at night and you're, you're like, yo, could you look right and tell me if there's anybody there? Cause you can't see in your blind spot. You're good. And then you whip it and there's a car right there and they just fucking lied to you the whole time. They didn't even fucking check. That's a shitty friend. That's a shitty fucking friend. Now nah, you're good, bro. Just go. Fit the car fits. It's like a cat and its whiskers, dude. If the whiskers go, the body goes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thanks. They're not even looking. I would be in awe. If I was in my fucking car and I saw this little ass vehicle just fucking lane split past me, I would be like... Excuse me. <laughs> pardon us, pardon us. Pardon. Just sneak into the front here. <laughs> this is hilarious. Should we go to a drive-thru? Sure, I'm hungry. Can I have two junior roast beefs? Thanks, man. Right, thank you. Have a good day. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Should we go to a drive-thru? You go to Arby's and get a junior roast beef? Out of anywhere you could go. Okay, well, this is the worst part of the video here. You want to go to the drive-thru? Yeah. Let me get two junior roast beefs. Bro's putting a sauce packet on it. That's fucking foul. This is hilariously cramped. I feel like I'm eating, like... I would vomit. If I'm, I, I, I got, I'm in the back of this car. I got my fucking knees up like this. It's probably hot as shit, no AC. I'm chowing down on an Arby's roast beef. Yeah. Ugh. In a suitcase. You know what, though? Bill, I'll say this. What? The fact that anyone goes out there... Oh, 100%. ...takes their own money, mm -hmm. their own time... Follows their dream. Follows their dream and makes something. Yeah. It's just impressive in I itself. Love it. This took a lot of hard work mm -hmm. to do. And if we're being honest, the inside is nicer than... Yo. Yeah, I'm streaming. Telling my chat... Hold up. About your shitty... Do you guys talk when you text? Agency. 
My my girlfriend just said I called my agency about a payment I've been owed for months, and he said I don't like the way you're talking. Maybe we should release you. And then I said I left. If I call, I, I have the best agency ever. I work with Night Media. They work with Mr. Beast, Carl, Hassan, a bunch of people. They're fucking amazing. W Night, right? They're they're so nice. They're fucking helpful. Night Media is great. Anyways. If I call, if I had an agency and I called about money I owed and they said I, I was owed and they were like, mm, you're being a bit rude. Maybe we should release you. I would tell them to go fist themselves. I would genuinely say, go fist yourself. Give me a severance contract. I'm done. Like, get the fuck out of here. That, yo, W Brooke for fucking leaving them. That's fucking fucked. That is actually so fucked. Bro, I would tell him, yo, she has ranted to me about them all the time. The whole point of, this is so off topic. The whole point of an agency, whether it's with acting, modeling, theater, influencing, anything. The whole point of an agency is they're supposed to bring you offers. They're supposed to help you. They get a cut of, like, your ad revenue and a bunch of other shit, right? Like, it's a whole contract where, like, they're helping you and you in turn help them. And she has talked to me, my girlfriend has talked to me about this dumbass agency. I'm not going to say their name because then they're going to try and sue me knowing them because they're fucking cucks, right? But her agency has effectively told her she's being too pushy when she acts, when she asks if they've gotten her any jobs. Like, how the fuck is that pushy? You're asking them if they're doing their job and it's these two fucking dickheads. The whole agency. And I told her, I said, you should have never signed with them in the first place. It's two people that manage a hundred people. What a shitty system that is. One person should manage like at max eight people. At max. You got two dickheads managing a hundred people. That's why, yo, and it's the same issue, not even with, not even just with fucking, uh, uh, modeling. It's the same issue with fucking influencers on TikTok. There's these dumbass management companies that reach out to these growing influencers and get them to sign these shitty ass contracts because they're new. And they, they it's like two or three motherfuckers managing 500 people. And all they do is send fucking Gmail emails to fucking companies and ask them for fucking opportunities. Like, uh, maybe actually be a legitimate company and not fucking scam fucking people that are actually coming up and you're ruining their life because they're trying to be a successful influencer and you fucking get them into a scam contract. Those people are dirty. Those people are fucking loser cucks, right? Her agency is a bunch of loser cucks. And, well, now it's not our agency anymore. And the people that do that. That's why I love Knight is because Knight Media genuinely represents, like, a good agency, what an agency should do for an influencer. Because it's, like, a mutual relationship. Whereas, like, people are signing. If you, uh, this is my advice for you guys, too. If you ever become an influencer, you ever get into acting, modeling, influencing, make, just read the contract, get into a good contract, make sure the agency's good. Because half of them out there, more than half of them out there, are full of money-hungry losers that have no... They're lazy as shit, yet they're money-hungry, which makes no sense, because how the fuck are you lazy as fuck but also addicted to money? That makes no sense. Uh, and they just never want to fucking work. Hire a lawyer to read a con... If you ever sign with somebody that is going to take a per percentage of your revenue, just hire a lawyer. Hire a lawyer, look at the contract. Uh she said they they owed me money since March and never paid. So when I asked about it, he got mad. Bitch, I would fucking curse that dickhead out. You owe money since March? It's fucking December. I would fucking lose my shit. You you uh, you've owed me money for 9 months? That's a scam. That's that might as well be illegal. Some other cars that are off the showroom floor That's true. right now. That's true. And you know what? We're driving some guy's dream. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Now, and then the dude has the audacity to say, you're being a bit rude. Maybe we, maybe our agency isn't for you. <laughs> maybe you're right, dumbass. This thing can go 100 miles at 70 miles per hour. That's pretty good range. Should we do a quick lane maneuver? Sure. Is that good range? 100 miles at 70 miles an hour. I don't even know what my car gets. 100 miles at 70 miles an hour. I mean, for an electric car, if you're going 70 the whole time, that is actually not that bad. Woo! And for a car... 
Should we do a quick land maneuver? Sure. <laughs> you see that car tip? Bro, he went like that. He went like that. That whole car went. <laughs> nah! Bro, a lit yo, nah. You hit a fucking you hit a fucking jersey slide or some shit. You changed two lanes too fast. Yo, your car's fucking going over that railing. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to see them whip it. Genuinely just fucking whip it. You gotta make your own way. <gasps> Can I park this thing here, you think? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Bro said I won't. Maybe. I'll park it in a space. <laughs> All right, bro's, bro's on the sidewalk. Gonna make his own space. He, he just parks in between the other cars. Two cars. Which, which two cars? Turn right. Okay. Oh, I got plenty of space. Yeah. Yeah, now you're good. You're I'm good. You. You're good. All right, pull you're me good. out the window. Pop that hat. Let's see if your stuff is in there. <laughs> wow. It can hold half of a half of a fucking toilet paper fucking bag. What is that called? It's not a roll because it's multiple rolls. Here, let me get in the back seat and see if you can just put it all in the on me. Okay, there's one. Okay. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yo, you could get, you could break, you could put a fucking soda and maybe, maybe like a fucking protein bar in the back. That's all you're fitting. That's all you're fitting. He is fucking smart. But look at his legs. Is that how he's been sitting the whole time? <laughs> Number one safety rating. If they get side, if they get side hit, his leg is getting fucking smashed, literally into pieces. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get in either. Hey Tesla, don't you wish you were as cool as me? <laughs> I'm gonna give Job a little acceleration test. Oh my God, the wheels spin. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't they not? Aren't electric cars not supposed to spin wheels because it's like a matched output? That makes no sense. And it's rear wheel drive. How the fuck is it? A, it's a real wheel drive electric car with, with spinning wheels. Electric cars are never, are, are supposed to just, even if you gas it, it's just supposed to go. I don't even know how this car works. <gasps> Nah, nah, I'm getting... Okay, I'm impressed that that car didn't flip. That would make me nervous as shit. So what do you think? You think this thing's worth six figures? No. <laughs> I don't think they would try and flip it, though, for the sole purpose that, like, they would have to buy the car if they fucking broke it. <laughs> Clearly, $300,000 is too much money for this car. How much do you think the car... How much do you think the car is reasonably worth? Like, I would pay... I would pay I would pay 30 grand for this car. I think this car is worth 30 grand. I think I think it's a I I would still say it's a bad 30 grand car because you could get something else that's more worth it. But like with with its speed capabilities, its range and just like kind of the unique design and kind of like the fact that there's nothing like it, maybe 30 grand, maybe less actually like 20. I would still never buy it. But, like, I think that's its value. The fact that they're pricing this at $300,000, the price of literally, like, a Lamborghini Huracan is fucking insane. Pinky for the sub. $300,000 is too much money. For Nothing above 50 for sure. I would say, realistically, people would buy this car for, like, 25 car but it costs that much because the car never made it to full-scale production. Oh. Which is how car makers make most cars. So that's why. That is why. That's why it also has all these weird ass parts to kind of like uh, they just kind of rig everything together. All right. Next video. Oh, now we're onto the Logan Paul cast. Now we're gonna get into a whole fucking chat discussion with this shit. I gotta go piss real quick. Michael for the thousand runners best. What do you think? What do you think separates human from all humans from all other beings? The ability to uh, question other people. Gorillas that know sign language uh, only can answer questions they can't ask them. To our knowledge, other being other animals that are highly intelligent might ask questions themselves, but they never ask questions to other things. Humans realize that other humans have more knowledge than themselves. So it's like when you're a kid, you ask your dad, why is the grass green? 
Uh, why is the sky blue? What is the meaning of life? Like, I mean, you're not asking that when you're like five, but uh, you, you ask questions to gain knowledge to that aspect. It's also maybe kind of like a consciousness uh, answer, but other animals do have consciousnesses. Uh, so I would say the simple answer is the ability to question other species in your own realm. Curtis for the three bits. I feel like the car would do good in like Japan and China because it's so small. That is true. But I still don't think anybody would ever pay that amount for it. Just because that's absurd. All right. Count me down 30 seconds. I'm going to the bathroom. Next vid we are on is the Logan Paul uh, recent controversy. Not too recent, but I mean, this was last week, so it is kind of kind of recent. Um, Logan Paul dissed a bunch of religions. He kind of dissed uh, Christianity specifically. Uh, and we're going to see what he says, and we're going to talk about it. Because it is kind of a recent controversy. We're not going to uh, watch this whole thing. Obviously, it's just this little clip here. These two, basically. Uh, and we're going to skip around as well. I'm not going to watch everything flat out. We did a photo shoot. <laughs> and then Logan Googled Jesus Christ and started posing like him. And I was like, it's okay. No, no, you no, want to no. be like your hero. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it was, uh, it was the, the lost Leonardo. Uh, of, oh, is that what it was? Of, of I just the, saw pictures of Jesus, and you're like, "The picture of Jesus." He 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 did, he did like a cool thing with his like hand, <laughs> and I wanted to like recreate it for a photo, because I'll be honest with you, bro. Jesus Christ fucks. Oh God, bro. And people don't think that about him. Oh, that guy is. You uh, uh, what? I mean, like I understand he's trying to make a joke, but what do you? Now he's trying to explain it. You're like, yeah, you could you could make that joke. It's still kind of, uh, I don't know if I would make that joke. But, like, what do you, how are you going to say he fucks? He's Jesus Christ. He he didn't, he didn't do anything. This kind of goes against the premarital sex thing of Christianity. Like, that statement just makes no sense. Approach and Z for the sub, R6 for the sub. Fucking dope. Well, I told, so here's the issue. I told Logan this. We've been, we've been going back and forth in this. And a lot of times, Logan... <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so much. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. A lot of times, a lot of times, Logan will look to me and like look at my opinion of a situation, or I'll come in and chime in on a situation. I said to him on this one specifically, you have to be very careful when you mock or not mock even, but when you play when you become playful with people's religions. Religion is a very, very intimate relationship that people have in their lives. I liken to mocking someone's religion is most times worse than mocking someone's political opinion. It make it someone's religion, even if you don't, it, somebody's religion it kind of defines them, right? If you have one, right? If somebody's like a deep rooted Christian. Or a or Muslim, or they're they're Jewish, or Confucianist, or Buddhist, whatever they are, right? If they hold that near and dear to them, that kind of represents what they think about life, what they think about the afterlife, what they think about everything. It defines them as a person, and so more than politics does. And so if you diss that, that's like, ugh, right? And yeah. Faith is subjective. The definition of faith is the strong belief in God or the doctrines of religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. But it's something that doesn't affect you, right? 
And so when you have arguments about politics and it's something that's subjective, you're, that is kind of more for an open discussion as, as religion is. You can talk about religion and you could say, like, I, I talk about uh, religion to you guys all the time. I'm an agnostic. I'm a philosophy and religion major. I learn about this shit all the time. Uh, and I disagree with a lot of religions, but you kind of just have a, a, a respectful, peaceful conversation. You don't sit there and just say, well, this religion is just fucking stupid. The only time you can say that is about Scientology because it's a fucking money scam. But um, generally speaking, you, you don't diss someone's religion like that. It's it's just fucked. Carbohydrates for the sub, vodka for the sub. You can have a, you can have a conversation about it, but like you don't diss someone in that aspect just because that's you, 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 there's no reason to. There's no benefit of you doing it, and it's just disrespectful. To basically coming in. Uh, and saying to someone, no, but Scientology is the biggest scam ever. You literally have to pay to find out what the religion is about. <laughs> it's, uh, we've watched videos on Scientology before. Scientology is actually so fucking stupid. And it was made off of literally a, a fucking fiction writer who, who, and, and like South Park did actually a great episode on Scientology, kind of making fun of, um, it as a whole and they explained it pretty accurately and they put in the description this is actually what they believe because it's like it's not even a south park joke yo i think your wife is ugly like if you walked into <laughs> someone's home and said yo i believe your wife is ugly it that's... is it is worse than that call it, it what's worse mocking somebody's religion or calling their wife ugly people are probably more offended if you mock their religion Saying someone's wife is ugly will likely piss them off less than you saying that their religion is wrong, right? You sitting there and saying, okay, well, I'm not this religion. And you have a conversation about what you both believe and like kind of trying to, you know, have a philosophical conversation about it without being dickheads to each other. That's fine. But you flat out being like, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. Your religion's a lie. All this other shit. Like that's, that's going to piss somebody off. I think more than anything you could possibly say. If they're religious, right? If you make fun of somebody's religion and they're not even really attached to it, that's entirely different, but you shouldn't even test that out. Uh, Twitch for the sub. Mason for the 300 bets. I fell out of an airplane, need a G Fuel to survive. I'm not doing this. I'm not. Mason, thank you for the 300 bets. I already did like three G Fuel shout outs this stream in the same exact way. That's hand throwing shit. I know, right? but is she ugly? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Be if I walked in and I said, yo, your girl's ugly, you would punch you, me in the face. But she's not ugly. But, but, that's fine, would you but say I'm that? Saying, would you say that? Look, would you tell somebody that his wife is ugly? I wouldn't say that. No, I would not go okay, out of my Okay, okay. But if she was so, ugly and he then asked would you, you say, hey, do you think my wife is ugly? No, not even that. But, <laughs> but, you would say yes. Nah. Yo, if your best friend, yo, chat, your best friend's dating a girl. Or a guy, or whoever, they come up to you. They say, "Are they ugly?" You say no, even if they're not. It, hey, if they're talking to them, whole different story, right? Because they're not a thing yet, right? But if they're dating, you don't just flat out call your friend's girlfriend, boyfriend, or whoever ugly. That's just fucked, like that, bro. Because then you just solidified your opinion to them forever. And now they're always going to think, oh, they think my girlfriend's ugly. But would you ever offer it, like, without being queer? You could say not my type, but you wouldn't say, you wouldn't say, oh, yeah, no, they're fugly as shit. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, no. So, what I'm, so what I'm saying is this. People have a very intimate relationship. People feel that they've been saved, that their lives have been saved by their gods, I by know, whoever I they know, choose but... to call their higher power. So you're... You're even just questioning that, especially in the way that you do, which is never very skillful or, or, or you know, or, or graceful in any way, is, is harmful and is, and is destructive I to, disagree. to people. I disagree. I just, I, I don't think that we have to condemn homosexuality. Um, I don't think that we have to condemn sex before marriage. Um, well, that's, uh, that you, you can talk about that, right? You can give your points about that aspect of it. You could say, I think this is a problem with Christianity. And you can, I, I've, I've said similar things. I say, uh, people ask me, why aren't you a Christian anymore? And I'll go into a lot of those things, right? But that's d going into your issues with uh, the Catholic Church's stance on homosexuality and other things of that sort is entirely different than saying, yeah, your religion's wrong. Like that's, 
two different sides of the story, right? Because there are a lot of people that are Christian. 65% of Americans self-identify as Christian, generally speaking. I don't know if there's a recent poll that's different, but most of those Christians are perfectly fine with homosexuality entirely. Uh, a lot of Christians that are devout Christians vote for gay marriage, vote for these things. So you mocking that, like you talking about that issue inside of the religion is so different than just saying, yeah, this religion's wrong. Or uh, Somebody said L. Joe for not believing in God. Yo, you know nothing about agnosticism and I'm allowed to have my own beliefs. And it's the, yo, we're talking about this we're talking about how it's disrespectful to mock other people's religions. And then you conversely come in here and you say L U for not believing in God kind of makes you seem like a dumbass, doesn't it? Kind of makes you seem pretty fucking stupid. Right. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you, it's just like, you, I'm literally saying, oh yeah, it's fucked up to do that. And then you turn around and you say, oh yeah, L you don't believe in God, bro. Number one, I'm not an atheist. And this goes to show that the majority of Americans don't know the difference between agnosticism and, ag agnosticism and atheism. An agnostic means they don't know what they believe, right? I'm actually an agnostic theist as of right now. I, I'm, I'm a philosophy and religion major trying to figure out what I believe, right? But an agnostic theist believes in something they don't know what, right? So you saying L. Joe for not believing in God makes it seem like you thought I'm an atheist. I never said that, right? I have had doubts about an afterlife and a God and everything, right? I still have those doubts, but I am not an atheist, right? So you coming in here and saying, Joe for not believing in God just makes you, number one, it's contradictive to what we're literally talking about. And it's just, you're wrong. Like You're literally wrong. Uh, and even if I didn't believe in God entirely, you're, you're, it's still just, what are you saying? Kevin for the 357. Love your uh, your content, brother. Keep it up. Thank you. A bird for the 300 bets. I thought you died because you haven't streamed for four days. Two of those days I wasn't supposed to stream. Uh, and then the other two, my PC's been a bit fucked. I am on an old PC getting my new PC fixed right now. So don't so don't so like, don't, don't condemn don't, so don't condemn it. I don't know if I can I just don't know if I can get behind. Like that's silly to me. That seems silly to me. So I so I think it's I think it's a silly practice to engage in. And I think it's I think it deserves see, you don't want to you see it's the wording though. Logan, you've been on, you've been on social media longer than anyone. You just flat out, you just said Christianity is quote unquote silly. That is not, you, you don't want to, it's just the wording. What are you saying? There's satire. Like, come on. Bro. Yeah, but that's you, not. You subscribe to a doctrine that, that slams homosexuality. Come on, bro. And, and, that's ridiculous. I mean, again, we've talked about this. <clears throat> First of all, every religion, Muslims, Jewish people, Christians, they all believe well, that Well, Georgie, that's the other thing. Oh, let him Everyone, talk. No, well, let him speak. That's the well, let him speak. Every, 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 you all think you're right. And you think that the Muslims are going to hell. And they think that you're going to hell. And the well, Jews I, I think that. said that. You can't. And that's, yo. And it, no. And that, that he, I, I know he's not. I know that's not necessarily true for every religion. But a lot of religions do believe, or mo every religion, obviously. If you're a part of that religion, they believe they're the right religion. And at the end of the day. Not everybody can be right. But until you die, faith is subjective in that ideal, right? It might be objective for the for the holder of that religion, but it's subjective for everybody else. So sitting there and, and being a dick about it is is just fucked in either regard. If, if a Jewish person made fun of a Muslim or vice versa or anything, it's just like no one's right and no one's wrong. Because you can't definitively prove it. It might be objective to you, but sitting there and bashing other people's religions to that extent is a bit odd. Having a reasonable discussion and, and having your, your valid points of disapproval or, or having a, a reasonable talk about what you think is right or wrong is different. You can't put words in my house. No, in his well, house. Well, you, but you, you put do. words in his house. You can't Let put words in my mouth. I never said that. Let him speak. If you believe in Christianity, Muslims don't think Christians are going to hell. They just have a mis. Uh, they think they just have a misunderstood, or they have misunderstood the word of God. Yeah, no, it's literally like <sighs> it's still the idea though that the religion you're in obviously believes they're the right religion. They're not going to sit there and be like, "Well, we're probably wrong." Like, no, it's what you think. You, I don't, you think might not. That is, I don't it, think but... that is the case. See, th I think this is the problem, Logan. You assume so much that you're like you don't know one Bible. What verse. happens to a Muslim when they die, George? I don't know. God says no one knows who goes to heaven or hell. That's in the Bible. But they do go to heaven or hell. Yes, a Muslim can go to heaven. Yes, 
can uh, do it. Uh, well, I mean, he's basically saying, well, in, it depends the the subsect of Christianity that you're in. But generally speaking, you have to believe that Jesus is Lord and Savior for basically every form of Christianity um, to in in the Bible. Uh, I'm not saying I believe this, but I'm saying this is what uh, Christianity believes to go to heaven. So I, I don't really know. Now they're kind of both tipping tiptoeing around this conversation. Christian go to heaven. Again, I don't know who Ain't goes. The to Bible say you only go to heaven if you believe in God. Even past that, it's not it's not just belief in God. It's kind of it, what I just said. Uh, but it's also there's an idea of uh, ignorance and getting towards um, like if you were born, say, in the middle of nowhere and you never learned about Christianity, you will not be condemned to hell because you never even learned about what the truth was. Right. So in that sense, it's different. But each subsect of Christianity has their own ideas and ideals and they tweak they, their own Bibles are tweaked and everything's different. It's the heaven or hell. I am not. I am not the guy who decides who's going to heaven or but hell. But does, doesn't 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 your scripture say something about if you're not subscribed to Christianity? Oh you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. yeah. Uh, you, that you, you're you can be only go through the Father, uh, through the Son. Yeah. So Christianity believe that through Jesus you could be saved, but that doesn't mean I go Jesus, condemn, not, not Allah. So, but question: What makes you think I'm going around condemning people? That's what I want to know. Because you always put that on me. You always yell at me about the only I have the only point I've ever made, and it's something that I've also been kind of confused upon, but I'm not dissing anybody for it. A lot of the idea of um, kind of the ignorance uh, of like a child, like like an infant could not go to hell. They haven't committed sin. They don't know what is the difference between right and wrong in that moment. Right. It's kind of similar to somebody that's never heard about Christianity. So an issue is a lot of missionaries go and spread the word of God, which is good. Um, but, uh, if they spread the word of God, but that person doesn't become Christian, my question, and I don't know the answer to this. And I actually ask my professors this a lot is if a missionary is going and spreading the word of God to people that don't know about Christianity, are they therefore condemning that person to hell because they just told them about Christianity, but didn't convince them to believe in it? Also, do you guys like these talks? I know this is kind of getting very philosophical and I do these kind of rarely, but I don't want to be like I don't want to be like boring on a non-philosophical React day. Um, but that is a question that I bring up a lot uh, because it, it, it does confuse me, and I, I really don't have an answer to that. Gay people, I, I never once talk about because, gay people because you're subscribed to the doctrine that perpe perpetuates that information. I'm subscribed to love my neighbor. Not everyone in your religion is. Yeah, but that's they, yeah, fine. but single. Yeah, but but that's different. See that he he's oh god, it's like. He's putting the idea that all because like some Christians are homophobic, all Christians are homophobic. That's not it, it's it, it's just a broad assumption. It's it's not it's that's not true. Singling but, out, sing, hold on. Let You're me, sitting in let the me, same boat with some really hateful. Let people. me help. Let me help for a sec. I believe, hold on. Let me help for a sec. It's so here. It's so fun hearing what you think. Also, chat. If you guys want to share your opinion on this as well, you are welcome. I will read some of them. Okay. Singling Help out. It's just like being racist. Well, it's the same stereotyping. It's just, it's it's stereotyping a group of people. It's it's seeing one person and then categorizing them into a group based on on some aspect of themselves. S no, let me jump in from my point of view, please. Okay. Singling out specific wrongs in a religion or single pe singling out certain people that subscribe to that religion is a, a is an exercise in futility. I could say the same for a ton of atheists that have severe malpractice in their in their way of thinking. So I think that that's a I I believe that there have been but, but the, but I think the, but there the have been the atheists aren't guided by anything other than their own personal beliefs, which by the way could be right or could be wrong. Okay. But, and, okay. and, I, so, and I'll say this so, again. So, At the end of the day, I don't know shit. Okay, so and I'm my not question saying is one this. thing or another. I just am definitely questioning why we have to perpetuate a belief that is fucking I, I, silly. I, I agree, but you but it's just the wording that he says it is so bad. Like, dude, yes, point out the issue of like homophobia inside certain sects of like people that are Christian, but don't say, oh, all Christians are homophobic. Don't say, oh, all Christianity is wrong because of this. You bashing me. Somebody said at Joe Bartolozzi, is it homophobic to just not care what other people are? Not in a dis disrespectful way, just in a distant way. What do you mean, is it homophobic to not care what other people are? That would not be 
If you're sitting there and you're saying, I don't give a shit what you do with your life, how would that be homophobic? That's not, that's just you not caring. That's you just saying, okay, do what you want with your life. That's not bad. That's that's literally the opposite of that. I, I think I'm misinterpreting what you're saying. Me in front of a group of people for my beliefs is not right. And you're an atheist and I'm looking at you no, like No, 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 I'm not an atheist. Well, regardless no, of no where way. you're coming from. Why do you describe yourself? I, I guess, I, I guess I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Agnostic. I think I would be agnostic. Like I, I do identify with a, a, a higher being, a spirit. He's an agnostic theist. He's exactly what I am. To a power, what you would call God what any religion would call God, the universe, per se. But but I think the pillars of religion have a lot of really beautiful things to them. I just also think it can get dangerous for the wrong people. So you're on like, are you on like a personal crusade to to fix something? No, 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 Because no, no, my no, question no, no. to you is, my question to you is at the end of the day, and I said this specifically, that <sighs> the, the, the parable or the adage that you should live your life by is live and let live. Yep. It's just wrong to push your beliefs on other religions and what not you get to choose. What? If you have different takes but the same religion, crazy. Yeah, no, literally. Like, me and me and Logan are both agnostic theists, but, like, my take on it is different than his. I will say, yeah, there are a lot... I think every religion generally has something valuable out of it. There are a lot of things that I deem kind of confusing or I disagree with in a lot, in a lot of religions. But you can voice those concerns with that aspect of the religion rather than saying this religion is wrong because of this. It's entirely, it's too different. It's, he, his issue may be the same as mine, but how he's, he's just dousing the whole religion because of one issue that he has with it. Hot dog for the ungodly for the fringe bits. If Logan would have worded his argument a little better, I think George would have understood where Logan was coming from. I agree if he just worded it as I did. But I also think it's not necessarily just the wording that Logan's having. It's also he just genuinely believes Christianity is, and all Christians are just flat out wrong because of this. I'm not saying he's necessarily saying that. We need to watch the rest of this to know. But it's just the way that this is coming off right now is is a bit odd. Annabelle for the 300 bits. I mainly only believe in God as my protector. But when it comes to example of creator of the world, I believe in evolution with religion and, and beliefs I show respect to. Cuddly for the sub. I, a lot of the time, kind of, if I were to say I'm anything other than an agnostic theist, I would be a deist. A deist is basically somebody that believes God created the world and then left. Um, it's what George Washington was. I'm pretty sure Ben Franklin as well. I took a class on church and state and kind of how religion and politics are intertwined. Um, and they're very intertwined, even though a lot of people think they aren't or shouldn't be. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. It is, it is, it is odd. It, it, it is odd to, uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, it, it is odd to kind of figure out what you believe in. Uh, it, it's very hard. Fuck! I just spilled my G Fuel again on my laptop. Or not my laptop, my fucking, oh my god. Oh my god, again, dude. Yeah, do I flip my, do I, do I flip it upside down? Do I flip it upside down? Do I flip it upside down? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I just, oh my god, I think I'm gonna break my keyboard again. Dude, I fucking spill my G Fuel on my keyboard every day. I don't know how this shit is still working. I barely did it, though. I only poured it on the escape key. I think it should be fine. My escape key might break, but then my whole keyboard might break. I think it's good. Suck it out. Stop. What is it that is so bothersome about George's belief that I would love to speak about this too. By the we, way, we all can. Can I speak as well? <laughs> I know, but I keep getting like cut off. You're not because I'm, I'm I'm on your side. And I'm trying to. No, help I get it, you. but I feel I like you're speaking you. for me, and I don't agree with everything. I'm asking you're him a question. I feel like that. I'm too, asking. Like... I'm asking him a question. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was such a gaslight. <laughs> Yo, I feel like that too, Mike. I feel like. <laughs> no, I mean he is. He is speaking for George, but like, bro, just Logan, just yeah, I feel like that too. <laughs> I feel like that. Too I know, much. I know, but I'd love to talk because I, I'm. Can I, I finish my question? Have him in. Brother, just dissing Mike now. Answer it, and then you could go uninterrupted for twenty minutes. Okay. Okay. What is it about that idea of live and let live that is, or or not doing that? that is so difficult to do. Like, why can't George just believe in what he wants to believe in? Someone else can believe in what they want to believe in and everyone can have their own. No, they can. And that's where I always end up. Like, I'm not here to, to try to change anyone's mind, but I'm always here for the conversation because I find it. I, the, the good answer to that of him asking, why can't someone believe what they believe and why can't somebody else believe what they believe? You can. 
The only issue where that arises is politics. Uh, what you believe religiously is not an issue to anyone else until it involves politics, which is why many people believe that the separation of church and state should be in place because politics and religion are two completely separate things. Religion and politics are very intertwined, though. You can, you can spout with almost 100% accuracy who somebody will vote for based on their religion, wealth, uh, born sex, and um, what, what is the last one? It's religious belief, wealth, born sex, oh, location, and I think that's it. If you give me those four things, I can generally guess whether or not you're Republican or Democrat voting-wise uh, with, like, almost 100% factual proof. I think Jewish people vote for Democrat, I think, 83% of the time. The more often you go to church, the more likely you are to be Republican. Uh, if you go to church, like, every day, I think it's like a— if you're, like, an evangelical Christian, there's, like, a 93% chance— if you're a born-again evangelical Christian that goes to church every day, there's like a 93% chance you vote Republican. Uh, if you're a Catholic and you go to church once a month, it's like 53 or something. Like, there's a whole chart for this. I could just Google it. Um, should I Google it? Do you guys want to see it? Religions and who they vote for graph. They're also – oh, and race. Yeah, yeah, race. Also, uh, oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, there's a bunch of graphs on this. Let me just pull up a quick one. Oh, this one's a shitty graph. I need to find one that's good. Oh, here's one. You can see this one. This one's from 2014. I'm just pulling up a base one. But, like, there's a lot of graphs on this. Like, Mormons, 70% of the time vote Republican. Uh, Catholics. But this is also, this also doesn't, this is a shitty graph for the fact that it doesn't take into account uh, religious attendance and church attendance. But um, what you vote for, generally speaking, intertwines with your religion greatly. That's the only issue with people having different religious beliefs is the fact that it is intertwined with politics. Outside of that, there's no problem. Um, but yeah, I am reliving the stream right now because I swear you already talked about this before. I've talked about this in this partial segment before, uh, but not, um, not intertwined with what Logan is saying. Uh, but yes, no, I am repeating myself from a previous stream. True move for the, uh, for the sub. X uh, FW Thriller for the Fringe Bets. The fact Logan has such a big platform and is dissing other religions is disgusting, and I appreciate that you're speaking on this subject because I myself am a Christian, and I get that people are afraid of getting canceled, so thank you. Um, I don't know. It's just like <sighs> he should be allowed to share his beliefs. I share my beliefs with you guys. I share my beliefs on other religions and my issues with other religions. It's just the wording of it, right? You're not. It's not like, oh, if you're an influencer, you can't share your beliefs. You can. It's just don't shit on other people. You can bring up your issues with the religions. It's just the wording of it is where it gets him. Uh, Danny for the fringe bets. And, I mean, it also might just be what he genuinely believes. But it's just like how he's saying it is just disrespectful. Um, what about morbidism, which is so cultish that it hurts people? Uh, Danny for the fringe bets. Um, I don't actually know that much about Mormonism other than kind of the founding of like Joseph Smith and like, uh, I did learn about it in church and state and a lot of issues, uh, inside of Mormonism, but I have never read, uh, anything that is of Mormon text or the religion itself. Yes, there are a lot of issues in certain sects of Mormonism, um, where, how they're treating people, how they're raising them, but that's not the religion itself. I have never read the Mormon texts itself. So I can't give an accurate opinion on that. Michael for the five hundred bets. What are your overall thoughts on Logan as a person and how he's developed over the years? I mean, I think he's gotten better since the fucking Japan incident. But like that, like this is just rough. But I mean, overall, I, I mean, I think he's been better since then. But this is kind of like a scoop of that. I do think it is odd, though, when people try to say that Logan's like being controlled by the Illuminati and they they got him uncanceled or something like that. Did y'all see that? And they're like, this is definitive proof that the Illuminati is controlling him and using him. I'm like, that makes no sense. Finn for the 300 bits. Any tips for finals? Start studying early, but now that's kind of too late because finals for you are probably like right now. Uh, use a Quizlet. Quizlets always help. Uh, flashcards, something like that. Uh, kind of cycle through things. Fascinating. Give yourself breaks too. And, and, and maybe one day I'll, you know, get the answers that I'm 
kind of just curious about. Not seeking, but I'm, I'm just curious. 100%. This, it, it, it really does fascinate me. I know it does. I was angry with you for a very long time because of this situation. Are you a Democrat? Uh, I am categorically a social Democrat. Uh, I did vote for Joe Biden. However, uh, and before a bunch of people start spamming in or against that, I do not care uh, what your political opinion is. Uh, I have a lot of friends that are on opposite political spectrums as myself and people that are matching my political spectrum. Uh, I can have conversations with them, and while I disagree with them on some topics, they disagree with me on others, I still think that you should be open for political discourse, right? I do see where a lot of people hate people that disagree with them politically because they feel that they are being suppressed because of the other person's beliefs, and there is instances where that is true. However, you do need room for, for political discourse. People in the 1960s, uh, in the 50s, if you look at voting in, like, Senate things or just anything, uh, people would flip-flop sides depending on a lot of uh, issues. But now both parties are so politically divided uh, to the aspect that, like, if you're running for the Democratic Party, you can't be yourself uh, because you have to vote for that side's stereotypical viewpoints. Because if you do vote for how you are as an individual, you will not win the election. I think people should vote for a person, not a party. Uh, I am, generally speaking, a social democrat, but the idea of political parties itself uh, is very corrupt uh, on both sides. Uh, and I think that is fucking stupid. But um, no, I am open to political discourse for people. I don't get mad um, at people's political. I mean, I will get mad at like political opinions, but I will always want to talk to people about it. Um, but yeah, no, I did vote for Biden. Uh, and I know a lot of people are going to spam Let's Go Brandon or some shit now, but um, that doesn't bother me. Like, I, I, I'm I, not somebody that's going to sit here and get fucking butt hurt if you voted for Trump. And, I, and I'm not trying to, like, be a, a dramatic person right now, but genuinely, like, I know people that hate me, that treat me better about my faith than you, and you're my best friend. Wow. So, like... I get you're wrestling with it, and you like to tackle things. George Washington even said political parties would be the downfall of America. Like, every fucking founding father said that. Not everyone. A lot of them. A lot of founding fathers uh, wanted church and state uh, intertwined. A lot didn't. But many agreed that political parties are bad. Uh, the only issue is that without political parties, uh, no one would know who to vote for because the majority of Americans don't understand politics in any which way or form. You generally vote for a party that you are intertwined with because it makes voting easier. Uh, and the intertwining of church and state is even more prevalent in the fact that uh, churches hand out, not every church, but many churches hand out voting cards, uh, which is kind of a legal get around of uh, the fact that churches are not allowed to tell you who to vote for, but they can give you voting cards which detail church-related issues and which candidate supports what. Uh, and so it basically tells you who to vote for. Uh, so church and state are very intertwined when I believe they shouldn't be, and I believe that political parties should not exist in the fact that you should vote for a person rather than a party, but people don't do that. Uh, and it will never happen. Political parties will always be uh, intertwined with basically every country and uh, especially including the United States. Callier for the sub, Kevin for the sub. Head on. And I've told what you about Brett Peterson. Uh, I would think it would be pretty interesting to see how Brett Peterson would run the country uh, because he knows nothing about politics. And so he's a TikTok meme. If Brett Peterson theoretically got elected, I have no idea how that would go. Not for the sun. Before, if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it peacefully or we don't even have to talk about it. But if you notice, I never, ever question anybody's beliefs or push them to believe in Jesus. I express my love. Uh, Joe, I'm Hindu. My friend is Christian. He tells me the beliefs and things about Christianity. He asked me if I want to be Christian. He says the only God is the one he believes where I believe different things from him. Now, I don't know if I should be Christian or if I will go to hell because I don't believe in these things of Christianity. By the way, I don't know much about the other religions, so I'm asking you. My genuine belief is if you want to convert to Christianity, convert to Christianity because you genuinely believe in Christianity itself. Don't convert because of your fear of what will happen if you don't. Uh, people should be good and follow, like, aspects of their religion because they believe that they are morally right, right? You should be a good person because you want to be a good person. You should not be a good person because you're scared of what will happen if you're not, right? Um... 
not every person does that in every religion. I'm saying a lot of people do are good people just because they want to be a good person. But you shouldn't follow a specific religion because you're scared that if you don't, you're going to go to hell. You know what I mean? Uh, if you want to be Christian, uh, I would advise you to look into it yourself uh, and determine whether or not you believe in it. Don't just join because your friend told you you're going to go to hell if you don't, right? Um, you should want to join outside of fear if you want to be a Christian. And if you express your higher power, I'm all ears. And I will listen to you for days and express. Because there's a lot of takeaway I could learn from it. All I'm saying is, I think you're so quick because you believe in something so much that you're determined for me to see it from your point of view. And what, that's what, how wars are started. You, what do you think I believe in, George? Because it sounds like you have a misconception about what you think I believe. Buddy, you cannot tell me about misconception and you keep misquoting the Bible and you keep putting me into a box that I'm not in. You wait, keep wait, bringing wait, up that question. I bash gay people all and, the time. When have I ever done that? Bro, that is a staple of your religion. And it's not bashing gay people. It's condemning them but have for what you they as, like. For, That's as George fucking Jinko, as ridiculous. Your best friend, as your best friend, have you ever seen me? I, I'm not defending the segment here, but I think Logan's also... they're they're both, He's misquoting what, what Christianity is basically saying. Christianity is not against... And I'm not Christian, by the way. Christianity, I always have to say this because people get mad at me. Um, Christianity does not disagree with the idea. Uh, it is not a sin in Christian religion to be gay. It is a sin in Christian religion to do sexual activities with someone of the same sex because you cannot have a kid doing that. For sex to be allowed in the Christian religion, you have to be in love with the person, married, um, and you want to have, you have to be able to have a kid or be somewhat capable of having a kid in, to, in my knowledge, certain subsects might disagree with that, but to my knowledge and what I've learned, uh, the reason homosexuality is condemned in Christianity is because you can't have a kid with someone of the same sex during sexual activity. Yes, you can do insemination and all these other things, but that's why I disagree with that. I think homosexuality is perfectly fine. I think homosexuality is a part of human life, and that is where that is one point where I disagree with Christian Christianity as a whole. But saying that George is homophobic because he's Christian is just stupid. Uh, that's the issue that Logan is doing. To any straight man or gay man or any type of person I've have I ever shown any hatred. No, ever. but you're in the same boat with a large group of people that do. I believe I'm in the same boat with a lot of hypocrites, and I do agree. I think there's a lot of hypocrites, but you can't paint me out to be like somebody I'm not. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm, 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 I'm not talking about you. you. I'm talking about religion is what I'm talking about. So I'm going to ask you again. Yeah. What do you think I believe? You? Mm -hmm. I, 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 what I, is Logan asking him? What does this have to do with the fucking conversation? Holy shit. He's saying you're being disrespectful to other, other religions. And Logan's like, what do you think I believe? How the fuck does that have to do with anything? I'm like getting confused. Believe that you believe in a higher power. I believe that it's not a god. I believe you think it's a force, an energy. And you're trying to put together where our energy goes afterwards. And you're still in the midst of putting that together. I listen to you. I don't. Have I ever bashed that? No. Never. I never would. And I also, I believe that your energy is the same of me, but this is the way I want to, I want all of us to like be together. Like at the end of the day, bro, I can never prove to you that Jesus Christ exists. I can never do that. You can never prove that your belief system exists. But what we could do is have like-minded conversations and grow. Exactly! Yo, W fucking George for that. Oh my God. That's what I've been saying this whole damn fucking last 30 minutes. Grow from it. Mm. And I just, I want there to be love in the conversation. Yeah! Yeah, you objectively you objectively believe it in it yourself, but you can't factually prove it to somebody else that has a different subjective belief to yourself. I almost just passed out there because I just screamed so much. I literally almost fell over. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, but literally, W fucking George for that. Instead of like because like it, we pick on each other and other things, it's totally fine. Like you you suck at comedy. Mm -hmm. I get that. Everybody mm -hmm. knows that. Mm -hmm. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to religion uh, Hold up, gotta check the talk. Gotta check the talk. Did it post? It did. Oh my god, it posted. Yes. Yo, TikTok has been on my asshole. On my asshole recently. They're taking down my videos from like six months ago.
And then I appeal them, and they get put back up. And then I appeal them, and they get put back up, bitch. It's like their fucking, their appeal system, I will say, TikTok's appeal system is getting better. Is it puckered? It, my asshole is genuinely puckered for TikTok right now. Because they're, 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 they're trying to fuck me here. They are. They're trying to. But, like, I just appeal them. And then they get put back up. Because I'm not violating a fucking, vi I'm not violating anything. They just fucking put that, they literally just take, or, no, thank God. They literally just fucking take down my shit, and then I appeal it, and 10 minutes later, it gets fucking put back up. Makes no sense. Literally no sense. Aw, uh, bro posted a TikTok of me. Do you guys want to watch the TikTok my girlfriend just posted of me? I haven't seen it. We'll watch it. Where is it? Oh, did she delete it? Mega cringe. Did she delete it? Oh, I guess it's just not showing up on PC. She asked me who Alex Earl is today. Who the fuck is Alex Earl? I still don't know that. She got so happy when I said that. She said, did you hear Alex Earl broke up with her boyfriend? I said, who the fuck is Alex Earl? Big Tom for the three bits. I hate when people say Christians are homophobic because it says in the Bible to love everybody. True. Not uh, clouds for the sub and Cali for the sub. Uh, you have to be, you have no. to tiptoe. No, I don't. No, I don't. Well, I do. With anybody. And by the way, you brought up like Muslims and Jews. Dude, Is I it your girlfriend, Brooke Monk? No. My girlfriend's Brooke Armitage. Not Brooke Monk. Brooke Monk is dating some other dude. I'm not, I'm not fucking dating Brooke Monk. I sit at synagogues and talk to, to rabbis all the time and pick their brains. I sit with Muslim people. They're the most peaceful people. We went so to Saudi who's Arabia. Right? I want you to say it right now. Who's right? Who's, who's God who, is real. My God is real in my eyes. Not Allah. I don't believe that Allah is real in my eyes. A lot of Muslims would that, disagree with you. But does that mean I have to... Who cares? You can still have a fucking conversation with them. You can pick their brain. You can see where you disagree. You can see maybe if, if their belief has a lot of similarities to yours, or if maybe you think theirs is right, comparable to yours, and then you might convert. It's the idea of just having a fucking conversation. Who's his right? That's all that matters is who's his right. No, you can still have a conversation. Dude, it's like the same ideology of like not being able to have a fucking political conversation with someone. Yes, you can disagree with what they say, and at the end of the day, you're going to think you're right comparable to them. But you can still talk to them and see what they think, see how they think and what they believe. That's why I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, if you disagree with me politically, I, I just can't even have a conversation with you. No, because you're still, it, there's no room for growth. It's just going to be separation there. Holy fuck, dude. What is Logan saying? To disrespect their beliefs? No, absolutely not. Does, does that mean we can't break bread and hang out? No, 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 no. It doesn't mean so that So why does it have to be like, who's right? I need to know right now. Why can't this just be your life journey and just figure it out yourself? Live and let live. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's where I always land. But you land on my face with your kicks sometimes with the with the mean words you say. You you don't I think you really I think you're so giant with your words, you really don't know what you step on when you say things. Like really, like and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way or trying to pull at you. I think that you have so much going on in your life and you're so like power driven that you will mow past your friends and family without accidentally without knowing. If I say something, I've said it intentionally. And that unless I, unless I'm drunk. <laughs> but 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 can can you can or you can Khalifa you say Khalifa. something? I'm sure you you sound pretty specific in your recollection of your memory right now. Can you give an example of what, what one you're that saying? really hurt me? Is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. No, that I one hurt me. No, I didn't. I said you need a therapist because Jesus isn't quite doing it for you. No, you which didn't. is no, you which didn't. is true. No, you didn't. I, said, I, I don't want to stand down. No, you didn't. You, you think, said you think I said nah, you need a therapist because you believe in Jesus? I checked you. And I said, what did you just say to me? And you said, what did I say? And you stumbled. You're like, I don't know. What would I say? I, no, and no, then no. you fumbled. I'm not backing it is, down from It this. is common knowledge that you don't interpret reality like reality happens. Mm -hmm. And you heard that incredibly wrong. You think so I said you I need, need a therapist because you believe in Jesus? What do I need a therapist for then? Jesus isn't doing it for you. And for, I, for I believe what do I need a therapist for? I don't believe you're as emotionally mature as you could be. The what do I need Jesus for? I mean, uh, what do I need a therapist for? To get you to level up. In what? Yourself. In what category? Uh, so when you think George needs a therapist, what category am I following? Emotional under? intelligence. Emotional me. Yes. I'm not emotionally intelligent. Could you could you pick a time and frame 
any day of sure. our life. Here's one. Three weeks ago when you were sitting in that chair, you stormed off this exact podcast because you were upset about something a comedian said. Uh, no, I was upset that I finally discussed Listen, I just answered. This has nothing to do with religion. What are they fucking talking about now? Your question. I'm not looking for rationalization about the thing. I just answered your question. Also, so what you, you said you in the past that it's you like it when people storm off. So I asked you, if I get upset and I want to storm off, is it cool? And you said, absolutely. Georgie, you left, bro. I'm not. I'm going to jump in on this. That one. I'm not sure that that's representative of emotional intelligence. It, what happens in content is content. That's though. facts. It, that I, I genuinely, okay, yeah, Mike's saying something that actually makes fucking sense. I, <laughs> yo, yo, he literally, that if it's, if it's a content storm off, that's entirely different than if it was an off cam conversation and he got up and left, right? Like if you, everything's hyped up on stream, everything's hyped up on video. Everything you, you it's it's the idea of entertainment, right? Like if they're actually sitting down and having this conversation off cam, I don't think he would have gotten up. It could be entertainment. It could, there's a million things that could happen. So, should, should, I, should I cite another? I'm, I'm just. I mean, you can. Yeah, I'm. Just, I'm gonna jump in occasionally as as a as a guide here, as a mediator. Yes. Also, like these type Even of conversations you told me that should I be can. behind closed doors. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. I don't juice. I think every single person on this planet could really benefit from therapy. I do. I agree. And what did I say? I said, yeah, I'd love that. And I got. I think I got it would be. I think it would be great for you. I really do. No, I agree, but I don't think saying. Even, okay, hypothetically say you truly did in your heart feel like I needed a therapist. Which I do. Okay, but that was the first time we ever brought it up. Uh, do you feel like bringing my higher power or something that I fall in love with to use an example for failing me to use as leverage for me to get a therapist? Do you think that is something a loving human being would say I do. to somebody? I love you, and I don't think Jesus is evolving you in Yo, a way. Yo, they got way too many damn primes here, though. Like, I'm just, like, I'm just fucking, bro, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the product placement, but, like, get, get the fuck. Why is there so many? Way that you could be. That's Ma fine to say that, yes. It comes, it's coming from a place of Can love. I, I want you to be the best person that you could possibly be if what I've examined and witnessed in your behavior. They're thirsty. They're drinking the whole damn... They're drinking the whole damn box. I don't think the prayer is doing enough. I think actual conversation with a medical professional will help you learn and discover a lot more about yourself that may open up a bit. Yeah, but like prayer, th prayer as a means of finding yourself and then like genuine therapy are, are two different things. I don't think he should say, oh, Jesus isn't doing it for you. You need therapy. Like that doesn't make sense. Right? Like, both are aids. They're two separate aids to your life. Putting them together is where you're going to upset somebody saying, like, oh, yeah, it's good that you found God and all this. You should also do therapy. Like, I don't know why he's combining them. A bit more wavelengths in your brain to mm -hmm. become the person that you want to become. Got you. Now, here's my other question. Did anyone here in this room at all, realistically, know I was going through something? When? Mike. I did. When I, the two years that I had the hardest years of my life was this past two years. Did anybody here know this? If you didn't tell anyone, how would we know that? Well, one, I call every one of you guys and check in on you. No one checked in on me. My oh. Oh. Oh, that makes me feel so bad. Oh. Damn. Yo, that's like, that was like the saddest thing I've heard today. That was like actually so upsetting. Mike, you checked in on me the first time I called you. Yes, I'm going through things. And I will admit, Mike consistently checked in on me afterwards. The only person that was there wasn't family, wasn't friends, wasn't coworkers. It was my Jesus Christ. And he's the not, one that- Not even your girl, Belle? Belle didn't know. I, so, Georgie, so, are you- there's some people that can't express, you, you bro. Don't, like you're, you you're asking for a babysitter. You're 29. No, I'm like, not. I'm just saying you can't knock something that I gone through and helped save. I'm me. not knocking. I'm not. I'm not knocking that. But at you all. don't know the steps that I took. And there's a lot of people. I I believe that the Bible would weigh more than a therapist, and that's my belief. I truly believe that because I believe there's a lot more wisdom in the Bible than a human being that's that's dealing with their own drama could give me pointers on. They're, they're, Do I feel like it's pointless to have a therapist? Absolutely not. That's why I There's work probably on. merit in that. And That's I what actually, I'm saying. I'm saying they're two separate things. Both are AIDS. Really, I think I agree with you. I do. I do. Leaving the Bible up for interpretation, which 
it, it is, mm-hmm. people are going to read it differently, right? Yeah. So, so while it may be really beneficial for you, way more beneficial than a, than a therapist, it might not be for someone else. That one-on-one conversation with another human, a practice that has been proven to, to work. Not for everybody. Not for everyone. See, not for he's di- it's just like, bro, just say, just say yes. Say, bro, yeah, say yes. They're two separate things. He just keeps going back to, like, dissing one and saying, like, not one. It's not like, oh, there only can be one, religion or therapy. You can have both. And both can be therapy. Therapy can be therapy and religion can be therapy. Why is he saying, like, oh, yeah, like, yes, we're social creatures. Therapy is always great. Talking to another human about your problems is always great. No shit. Like, what the fuck? What is his fucking point? Michael for the 500 bits. How is Logan talking about emotional maturity? He's being openly aggressive towards George and kind of gaslighting him. He's very close minded. It's kind of crazy. He just has to be right. No, I don't think, I don't know if, he, I, I think Logan has, uh, it's just coming from the fact that like Logan has always been successful, right? But always been successful to the point where he's always kind of been the most, not the most successful, but like Logan doesn't really fail much. Uh, he has had some failed, like, crypto projects and all this other shit. It's just, like, so he he's going to spout his knowledge higher than a lot of other people. I do that, right, a lot. But, like, I know I'm doing it, and I try not to do it. I still do it. I'll still shit on, I still shit on people in my stream, and I'll say, oh, I'm right, you're wrong. But, like, when it comes to, like, political conversation, religion, uh, political conversations, I get heated. But, like, I'm still here to hear somebody else's opinion religious conversations philosophical conversations you might think you're right but you just have to try and hear it from the other side is the issue and i don't think he's trying for everyone same as same as faith doesn't work for everybody everybody's gonna find a practice that works. i i I know and i know george and i and i know very well yeah and i know you could benefit a lot from a therapist okay and noted I do feel like, in no disrespect to anybody, I think when it comes to emotional intelligence, I think I'm the smartest one here. When it comes to emotional intelligence. I'm sorry. And I will say this confidently in front of all of you guys. I'm happily willing to bow out. As I, I, the I, I, who do you think strongest emotionally? I don't know why Logan's sitting here. I will say he just seems, he seems well in tune with himself. Um... Like, he he checks up on his friends. Yeah, even if he's going through shit himself. He just seems, George seems like he kind of has it down. I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know Logan's, hmm, hmm, has to think about it. I'm a Christian, and I have been made fun of for being uh, a Christian by another person who is a part of another religion, and I beat the shit out of them. I don't know if you should have resorted to violence there, but I would say, yes, they also shouldn't have. Uh, said, like, or made fun of you for being a Christian. I would never disrespect another person's religion because of how hurtful and angering that can be, which is why I hate people who say that this God or that God is real. I think they should say that in their eyes. Yeah, it's in your own opinion, which is objective to you, but faith as a whole is subjective, but objective to the individual, right? It's two different things. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. If somebody d- uh, disses your religion, I don't know if you should beat the shit out of them because that's also kind of not helping the issue. But, um, yeah, no, they also shouldn't have done that in the first place. I know so when it comes count- to emotions, I'm the first one to... Zussi said I got baptized when I was young in a white gown and had nothing under and the whole church saw my ass. Thank you for the nice story, Zussi. Thank you for... <laughs> To notice things and handle things, and I privately handle things. I've had private conversations with many people here I will not mention. Emotional I've had private conversations with your family members I will never mention. Emotional intelligence in what vertical? I'm going to fast forward a bit. We're joking around. You're like, oh, Yo, yeah, he, you believe in uh, Christians, and, and uh, uh, they, they hate gays. And that crushed me because there's a lot of people that I love that are gay. So when you put me in that box, I'm like, bro, I am the farthest from I that. ain't putting you in any box. You are putting yourself in that box. <laughs> no, no. Yes, you are. Can yes, I ask you, you something? Can I ask you something? Okay, there's a mass shooting. A white guy does it. Do I look at you and be like, all white people are on the fence to go do a mass shooting? No, I don't put you it in that box, It wasn't my decision bro. to be white. Those both were shitty points. So that, uh, that argument's irrelevant. Yeah, that, uh, that, that, was, that was a shitty point. 
he said that he proved that was a shitty point. But I think what Logan is saying is also a shitty point. They're both those. That was both stupid on that. That was stupid on both sides. I would have said it was your. I would have said atheist. It was your. It was your decision atheist to be a shoots Christian. up a school. Well, no, well, because a lot of people that have different religions are shooters. But my point is, I'm not running to label you, bro. I, I would rather want to sit and understand you and learn from you than judge you and put you in a box. There's also a lot of denominations that have come around to the idea of homosexuality. I think I think that stating that's the, that that's that's stating that Christianity in general is a homosexuality hating religion is a is a is like a blanket statement that does not cover the entirety of the truth. Well, also it's not true because if you do not love thy neighbor and that means gay yeah, or straight, but, then you are not a child of God. That is what, literally what about, quoted about, in the Bible. Yeah, but what about conversion therapy? Like what do what, what is conversion therapy? It's something your church does, George. Stop saying Yes, conversion therapy is fucking evil and stupid, right? But bro just said that's what your church does. Bro, oh my god. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta fucking, oh my god, he's got a fucking, it's just his wording is so fucking stupid right there. Ugh. My church, bro. I don't know what. But it's something your but, but church it's also, does. But it's also something what that, are you talking but it's also about? something you that don't church. Know what, what's my church name? I don't know. Exactly, bro. You do this is a lot. Is it a church? That practices yeah, Christianity. These are, these are blanket. Is it a church that practices Christianity? Yes or no? Yes, but the church. The I did that? Church. No, but it ma the do the denomination matters because what e there are denominations of Christianity that believe entirely separate things than than others. Runs conversion therapy. So does the, I think so that's does Catholic. The so does atheists. So do atheists. There's but a lot also, of people. Atheist church? church? No, it doesn't. It's I not. What are you talking about? Conversion therapy is not. Oh my fucking god! This is so stupid. That's the back there. Actually, that's I would, I, 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 that's I would, I would both of you guys are completely because, wrong. There's because, religions that will put them to death. No, 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 no. Because what I'm saying is I my my argument would be that the majority of conversion therapy happens as a result of parental uh recommendations that are not back that are not necessarily backed in religion or anything, besides the fact that the parents don't want their kids to be tra tra uh transitioning into something that they believe they're not gen oh, in a gender role. Oh. Also, like I, th this is there's so many different factors and so many different situations here. The way, the way things are delivered is a massive thing. Logan, as you said earlier, notoriously, and, I, and I've stated this to him, he knows this, has one of the worst deliveries ever when it comes to criticism, when it comes to talking about things. Bro, yeah, it's fucking awful. Like, he's like, dude, he's like, he could just fucking word it better. He's a big swinging egotistical cock in all. And I suck at wording things a lot, but like, oh my god, dude! When you're in like a rough conversation like this, like yeah, you might slip up here and there. It's like every fucking thing he says is a slip up. Ratio for the sub guo for the fucking five. I can't type in chat. Why? Arguments, and that's a fact. Do you want to know why? That's a fact. Do you want to know why? But, but, but let me not not to no, bash you. No, just you just library for the thousand bits. Is this pissing anybody else off or just me? Uh, what this convert? What I'm saying or what they're saying? You, you know, you bash me. You, you attack Go my ahead. character. Me... No, I no, haven't. I haven't. no, no. I said I haven't. I'm He's just, not saying you. I'm did. not bashing I just anybody. Fucking said it. Oh. What I'm saying is, in arguments, you you do you say you call it yourself. You say I like to pull out my swords, and you fuck people up. You slash yeah. and dice. You yeah. skew. That's not how you change opinion, though. It's like a shitty way of arguing. It's what you're what you obviously want to revert to. But if you really want to change somebody's opinion. You should do kind of motivational questioning in the aspect of asking them questions to arrive at a your answer. If you disagree with me and I tell you you're wrong, this is right, you will never agree with me. If I ask you questions and you end up disproving yourself, you might be mad there, but you'll change your opinion. If you arrive at an opinion yourself versus somebody telling you it, you will almost 100%, not almost 100%, you will more likely change than if somebody tells you you're wrong. For the reasoning that people don't like being told they're wrong. If you find out you're wrong within yourself, it is much more worthy of change than if somebody just says you're wrong. Because if somebody tells you you're wrong, you're only going to instill those values much deep, much more deeply. That's the issue with politics. That is the that is a big issue with politics. Biggest big issue with most disagreements in life. Caught. Yeah, comes with good. A lot of good comes from it. Well, listen, it's not always, it's not always productive for a conversation that has such intellectual um, variance and so many factors. When you put someone against the fence, 
a lot of times it changes. When are you going to play High on Life? Tomorrow if I get my new PC back. Because my new PC has High on Life on it and all that save data and shit. Kono for the sub. Uh, that boy for the 300 bet. Sometimes my wife makes fun of me for reading the Bible and praying the rosary. Her goofy ass is a Satanist. Is she actually a Satanist or are you saying she's a Satanist? Changes there. Somebody said move on. I'm about to. I just want to see if they say anything else that's like kind of Take a deep breath important. and try to convey the information in a way that it's going to most suit Kevin. And that's even a I don't know if I can do the podcast. I've been shitting so much. Oh, yeah. I, and he goes, extra time for you to pray. Yeah, that's how we <laughs> And I go, you're... <laughs> that's funny to me. Nah, that's yeah. funny, bro. <laughs> that's another major... Yeah, like I don't think that's supposed to be disrespectful. All right, I think it's done now. I think they're kind of getting lighter hearted with each other and then they move on. All right, we're done there. We got three more videos left. We got barehanded shark fishing, food theory, or Christmas cookies are killing Santa, and this weird stunt video. All right. Kono for the sub. I got to piss real quick first. Uh, Christmas song non-copyright. All right, hold up. Count me down 30 seconds. I got to piss for like the fucking 15th time. videos why is Zeusy spamming i like men thank you for telling us all right hold up all right bare-handed shark fishing this is gonna be an interesting video <laughs> Wait, why are people saying what happened? Wait, why are people saying... Do I not... What happened? Look behind you? You don't see it too. What are you guys saying? Cruz told everyone to do it. What the fuck? What, what what do you mean? Oh my god, I'm sitting bro, y'all oh my god, y'all thought I I thought my fucking stream crashed again. Yo, fuck you. Yo, dead ass chat. Nah, I sit down and y'all are going, oh my god, no fucking way. No Yo, fuck you. Yo, actually fuck you. Actually fuck you. Liberty for the fucking five hundred bits says, What is that? What is what? Odin for the sub Kono for the three hundred bets. Or for the four hundred bets. Been watching your YouTube for a few months. You've, uh, wait, unmod him? You've gotten me through some problems, so I wanted to take a moment to say thanks. No problem. I'm glad I could help. Uh, you're one of the only streamers that can actually make me laugh. Dub. Wilson for the five gifted subs. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the fucking five gifties, Wilson. Big dub for that. Thanks, Wilson, if you got a sub from them. And thank you for the fucking five gifteds. Barehanded shark fishing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
In the meantime, Salam is at sea. He has never been a great believer in Blaise's magic. To thwart the bad magic of the jealous or the unhappy, he prefers his own powers, handed down to him by his father, and which he has greatly strengthened over the years. You're bugging out the ass. You think I'm going in the middle of the ocean and fucking rattling some shit to get a shark to come kill me? He would be happy to pass this knowledge How is he gonna kill it? Barehanded shark fishing. What do you do, just pick it up? Does he have a spear? Down to Junior and Charles. Somebody redeem Dent. Hold on. Oof. Bit of a yikes there. And tell them all they have to know about calling and capturing a shark. But they don't want to go out to sea with him. The boys recognize Salam was once a great shark catcher, but think that now he's too old and too tired to teach them. Do your Twitch commands work? Yes. Does this actually make a shark come to you? Oh, God. Oh, he's chumming. Why not catch another fish? We're catching a shark. Oh, fuck no. He's gonna kill that? I've seen a mad of... I've seen mad people saying your stream is repeating every few seconds. It's not happening to me, but it's seeming like 100 people are having it happen. It's because it glitched. The only way I... It won't happen next stream. It's just it glitched out. And I don't know how I could fix it. Because... um. I don't know. I mean, I'm looking through my stream settings. My your audio is the. What do you mean my audio is delayed? If if my stream is repeating every few seconds, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, it is very odd, but I don't know how to fix that. Oh, here it is. Okay. Hold up. I have dynamically changed bitrate when dropping. I had, to, I had to add dynamically changed bitrate when dropping frames while streaming. This should fix it, but it did kind of glitch it out. I don't really know why. Is is it uh, is the uh, is the stream replaying for any of you guys? It should be good. Cause I do have I do have I do have frame droppage. But it's, it's just hovering at the same thing. I feel like it's glitched out. No, not anymore? Okay, then I should have fixed it. Or that should have fixed it. Uh, Wilson for the 500 bits and the 1,000 bits. And Cloak for the sub. Um, Alright, I don't know. That should fix it. The old fisherman has his own little secrets. Let me know if it happens again, one of my mods or somebody genuinely, because I know my chatter's a lie. In addition to the bait he puts on his stick to guide the shark to the lasso, he sometimes uses other types of food. Oh, he's trying to trap it? Oh, shitload of fish. And is he not worried? Like, would y'all be worried that this fucking shark would kill him? Like, he tried. Like, I understand if he's aggressive to it, it would probably run away. But, like, dude, I'd be worried that this motherfucker would bite me because I'm the one chumming. You're probably covered in that shit, too. Garlic for the 500 bits. There's no way this dude is catching a giant ass shark with this tiny ass boat. Now, he probably will. Is he going to try and catch it on a stick? Quick question here. Uh, when it grabs the, the bait, won't it just rip him into the water and then eat him? Like what?
It repeated? Did it repeat? Bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking freak out. Hold up. Um, it should be good. Like, I, it shouldn't be repeating. I think it's, dude, I really think it's you guys on, on your end. We'll see if it happens tomorrow. I think it was because my stream glitched the fuck out and then it fixed itself. Um, but it genuinely should be fine now. Um, I don't even have a replay buffer on. Like, I really don't even have a replay buffer on. So if it's replaying, that's just very, that's very odd. Yeah, I feel like you guys are capping. Your mouth isn't syncing with your camera. Manifest. If you're lying to me, I will unVIP you. I really will unVIP you. Like, I, I don't even care. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm, I'm not gonna fucking start screaming and shit. But, like, when my chat starts saying there's problems with my stream, if you're fucking capping, I will genuinely, I'll record it. Don't. Don't. Because I'm not going to fucking look at it. And I'm, I don't want you to even try and send it to me because I'm not even going to try and fucking open it. Charge for the 300 bits. I've been having a rough couple weeks. Wanted to say you always make my day in a non-parasocial way. Dub. Hold up. And I'm, I don't want you to even try and send it to me because I'm not even going to try and fucking open it. Charge for the 300 bits. I've been having a rough couple weeks. Wanted to say you always make my day in a non-parasocial way. Dub. Hold up. Not delayed at all. Not delayed at all. It's on your end, not mine. Literally. It's 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 it, it, it's perfectly fine. What are you gonna club it to death? How the fuck is this gonna work? He caught it! What did I miss? What happened? Did he catch it? Yeah, I think he wrapped. I think he got it to go through like a something and then tightened it around it. I think he literally. It's like not like a net, but like a fucking like a pulley rope. It's like a noose. Yeah, this is not going well. This looks very fucking dangerous. Is he getting away? What's happening? Bro, is it a lie? Kill it! I feel bad now. No, Dude, I'm taking a sharks class too about how many, how so many sharks are getting killed. Now I kind of feel bad. Oh, don't kill the shark. The homie didn't even attack you. You're choking it. Oh, Damn. I'd make sure that thing's fucking dead. Cameraman sitting far as hell now. Cameraman getting nowhere near that thing. Bro, that's fucking nuts. That's how he caught a shark. Wilson for the thousand bits. 
Watching this on my crappy Wi-Fi, it's not repeating or delayed. Yeah, I don't know. It might be just a device issue then. Just because it lagged once. I would refresh stream. If you refresh stream, I really don't think it'll repeat. Garlic for the 500 bits. No way this dude catching a giant ass shark with a tiny ass boat. I mean, it wasn't that big of a shark. It was just a, it, it was basically like a big fish. Like it wasn't like an eight foot shark. Uh, charge for the 300 bits. Had a rough couple weeks. Wanted to say thank you for making my dad. Oh, I already read that. Uh, and Spixel, or Sprixel for the 300 bits. Been sick and watching you the whole time. You make my laugh when I, uh, you make me laugh when I don't want to. Uh, you make each day better. You're the best. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you. I wish I had more money to give you. Sorry. You don't have to give me money at all. Don't be sorry that you don't uh, give me bits or something like that. I appreciate everybody watching me. All right. We'll watch this one. We'll watch this one little stunt video that we'll probably fucking spam through. Then we'll end with the Matt Pat food theory, which is Christmas related. Oh, yeah. This is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already not doing that. No. This just in. Action sports icon Travis Pastrana was involved in a base jump mishap today in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Watch these videos of these guys that are like professional drifters and they like block off a road for them to do this. What if he just fucked up and just nailed right into a building? <laughs> like, has that ever happened? Like, I, I because I, I feel like all of these clips you see are just so successful. It's these guys in these like professional rally, like these professional rally drivers. What if they just went right through like a fucking library? Just fucking crashed right through that shit. <laughs> A jet ski in the fucking middle of the road. How is it moving? If I had the money, would I buy this car? No, because I would crash it. First attempt at a drift, I would go right off a bridge or some shit. Dude, I want to get to like where. Oh. just gonna drift around things this is like not that cool i mean it's like pretty cool but jesus how fast is he going there's a jet don't tell me he's gonna jump the jet or is he just racing it Going 165. No. Oh. Yo. Nah. Nah, bro. That's a GTA jump. That's dead ass a GTA jump, bro. It's about a fucking crash. Nose first. Oh my god. Bro, how did that not fucking dead ass flip? Ooh, it almost did. <laughs> oh! No! <laughs> Yo, he was probably shitting himself on that. What if he fucking hit that? What if he just hit the fucking helicopter rotor? Bro would have died. <laughs> this is where you gotta put that good ass music behind it. You know what I mean? Like, this is like, they, they gotta put some. Hold up.
They gotta put they gotta put like some some good shit back. Hold up. This. They gotta they gotta do like this shit. Hold up, I'll mute it too. This will be good as fuck. This is what they gotta do. Hold up. This is how you make it cooler. Ready? It's like way cooler already. It's like already cooler. Maybe with the sound on too. Oh my god, it's such a good song. Such a good fucking song. Holy shit. Maybe another point? Bro, like... Is that Keith from the Try Guys? The SVX. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought that was the dude from the Try Guys. Wait, I'm gonna look up cool drifting. Cool drifting videos, and then you just put that shit behind it. Oh, this fucking sucks. Drifting TikTok compilation. As shit. It's literally in video games. All right, we're going to the next video. That was all. I mean, it was a cool clip, but that, I, I'm not watching that whole damn video. Um, FW Goober for the three hundred bits. Hey Joe, are you streaming high on life today? You are the uh, probably hundredth person person that's asked me this. No, uh, I don't have my new PC. Uh, my new PC is at Micro Center being fixed. Uh, I have my old PC right now with literally nothing on it other than Google Chrome and Streamlabs, so I can't play high on life. Uh, I hope you're doing good. You weren't live for a little. Yeah, because my PC was broken, but I did take two, three prepared days off. I'm also taking another break from December 30th to January 5th. Uh, ASAP for the sub, but I'm probably going to be finishing High on Life tomorrow if my new PC is in. Code for the 400 bets. Somebody at work told me that I am eight up. What does that mean? I don't know. Chat, what does that mean? What does being eight up mean? Wilson for the 500 bits. How much would it take for you to shave your head? A lot. Uh, Saki for the 300 bits. I restarted Twitch and it works fine. All right, yeah. Literally, that's what I'm saying. I think it's just, it, it was when it glitched. If you were watching me then, then it probably like fucked it up. Sprixel for the 300 bits. Um, oh, wait, I already read that one. Why do we leave? Oh, next bit. Uh, food theory, your Christmas cookies are killing Santa. <laughs> oh, no! Mommy, why do we leave out milk and cookies for Santa? Mommy, 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 why mommy, why do mommy, why do mommy, why mommy, why do we mommy, why do we mommy, why do we leave out mommy, why mommy, why do we leave out milk and cookies for Santa? Well, Santa has a long journey ahead of him, and our little treat helps make his journey a little bit better. Now, good night. Santa won't come if you're not asleep. Santa? I made these for you. This is so ho, fucking stupid. Ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, I know you. You're the kid from... What is he, drunk? Internet who says Gregory from FNAF is a robot. <laughs> oh, you've been very naughty. <laughs> oh, this is gonna give me some deep emotional scars, isn't it? What is happening? Oh my god, is this all the intro? Can we just get into it? Traditions, my friends. That magical time of the year where you have your one obligatory sip of eggnog, where you lick a candy cane until it's pointy enough to act as a shiv, where you wait in the- Only time I will eat a candy cane, and I won't eat the rest of it. I'll just hold that bitch. I'll be like, this is literally a shank. You could, you could dead ass kill somebody with a candy cane if you just lick it until it's sharp. Lil Gay for the thousand bits. Joe, I don't hop on stream a lot, but I enjoy your content. Wanted to donate. Thank you. Uh, I thank you, Lil Gay, for the thousand bits and Capolent for the five. 
Uh, Santa had too much eggnog. Yeah, a little too much booze cruising for, for the Santa Claus. Bro crashed into a home. The line that wraps around the block just so you can bring home a hunk of ham dipped in honey where half That background of that pick is my hometown. This? Eating the line that wraps around the block just so you can bring home a hunk of ham dipped in honey where half the thing is just fat. Ah, oh, eating during the holidays is great, but no holiday and OSN for the sub. Eater is quite as prodigious as the man in red himself, jolly old Saint Nicholas. I mean, here in the States, it's tradition to leave out a plate of cookies and a glass of milk for Santa Claus to refuel between household visits. In my house, the cookie of tradition was the Oreo, and Santa preferred them double stuffed. And now that I'm a parent passing on, yeah, and Santa. I probably hated your fucking house. You gave that man Oreos. You gave that man Oreos, not home baked cookies. No chips ahoy, even. You gave that man Oreos. That tradition, well, my mind did that thing that my mind tends to do. It went to that dark place again. Uh, convex for the raid of eight. Thank you for the fucking raid. Uh, convexation. I think that's how you say your name. Thank you for the fucking raid of eight people. And friends, asking the very scary Christmas question, if kids around the world are all leaving out food and drink for Kris Kringle, wouldn't that start to add up to like, I don't know, an unhealthy and dangerous degree? Like, yeah, he'd probably have a heart attack and die. Wouldn't it kill him? How many pounds of cookie weight is Santa putting on in a single night? Could he survive that sort of caloric onslaught? No. 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 Millions of cookies? Millions of cookies. Could you're really asking, can he survive that caloric onslaught? No, he would die. So, you know what I had to do? I had to deck them halls with math. And let me tell you, after crunching the numbers, cookies are the least of Santa's concerns. It's not the sugar that's gonna get him, it's the alcohol. Loyal theorists, after today, you're never gonna want to. What alcohol? Who the fuck leaves Santa alcohol? fly on Christmas Eve again, and it's got nothing to do with elevated holiday pricing and everything to do with a drunken sleigh weaving wildly through the air. So how's Santa gonna fare on his famous flight? It's time to go ho 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 ho. So we're all familiar with Santa's Christmas time cruise around Bro, the planet. Who is giving Santa alcohol? I have no idea what he's even trying to transition to. Is he saying the fucking eggnog, like if it had alcohol in it? Right, every December 24th, Santa hops in his sleigh with his reindeer and his mountain of presents and circumnavigates the globe, delivering gifts to all the good little boys and girls. It's an incredibly daunting task to deliver all those presents in one night. How does he do it? Do we even have a way of tracking Santa's whereabouts? Well, if tracking flying objects is your aim, then let me introduce you to the North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD. NORAD is a binational organization between the U.S. and Canadian uh... militaries, meant to track any man-made objects that may fly over uh... continental airspace space, whether it's missiles, rockets, or Santa Claus. You see, NORAD and its predecessor began tracking the whereabouts of Santa Claus all the way back in 1955. Santa when should sue them. They're tracking Santa Claus? A local Sears ad posted a phone number for children to call in and speak with Santa. Little problem with that, though, one of the digits in the ad was wrong, which led to dozens of children trying to call Santa Claus and instead getting put through to U.S. Air Force Colonel Harry Shoup, who ended up playing along with how many times did he have to act as Santa Claus? They fucked that up. They just write down a military guy's phone. Oh my god. Bro had to act as Santa Claus to like fucking 30,000 people. The whole thing and started a tradition that continues to this very day. Every year, NORAD tracks the whereabouts of Santa Claus on its website over the entire night. So, what's that trek entail? Well, according to the NORAD website, which, again, is a military website that we're using as a source to track Santa's flight, he starts his journey right at the International Dateline, the imaginary line in the Pacific Ocean that separates one day from another. Santa starts in the South Pacific, he heads through New Zealand and Australia, into Japan, the rest of Asia, Africa, Europe, and then finally finishes his journey in the Americas. He's able to hit every home in one night because he takes advantage of time zones. Just like how the eastern part of the world celebrates New Year's first, so too does it celebrate Christmas Eve before anyone else. By traveling west, this allows him to usually arrive- Why don't you just look up when it says that he's over you? Then what? Oh, Santa's over me. Where? Oh, now he's gone.
arrive at home between 9 p.m. and midnight local time, according to NORAD. That means that he would start right at the international date line at 9 p.m. on the islands of Kiribati. He would then travel west, hitting every Christmas observing home in the world before 11.59 p.m. local time in Hawaii. In total, that gives him 27... Oh, it uses your location, so it doesn't work like that. Oh, so he's always somewhere where you're not. Okay. <laughs> He's, oh shit, it's like he's never coming to my house. It's like, oh shit, he's in, oh, it knows I'm in New Jersey. It says he's in the Middle East right now. Seven hours to make the entirety of the journey. Some sources that have attempted to calculate the scale of Kris Kringle's journey have given him a generous 31 hours by calculating from sunset. But what if I have a friend in like the UK and it, and I use my Santa trap, wait. But then wouldn't two Santa trackers say he's in a different spot? If, like, say say I use mine, and it says Santa's in the UK, and then my friend in the UK uses his, wouldn't it not say the same location? <laughs> ...in Kiribati to sunrise at his final destination, but if you know anything about kids... And trust it's me, just I glitched. It's probably the website glitching out do, they typically do not go to sleep right when the sun sets on a normal day, let alone the day right before they expect tons of presents to open the next morning. So that's the rough timeline we're working with, between 27 and 31 hours. But now the bigger and harder question, just how many houses are we talking about here? As you might imagine, there is a lot of disagreement about how many homes Santa actually visits during his Christmas Eve journey. Sources as to the number of homes Santa visits in one night range from 132 million homes, according to ABC News, to 300 and 96 million houses that is weight that is a big fucking differentiation there that that that's hundreds of millions in separation according to the washington post to the absolutely insane 640 million homes according to the daily mail so considering the huge range of estimates possible here what's our methodology you missed my 500 bits oh it's because i just haven't checked them yet a little gay for the 500 bits just a little Tip, keep up the good work, my man. Thank you. And Johnny for the sub. For this thought experiment going to be? Well, for each country that we look at, we're going to do our best to get a sense of what children in that country leave out for St. Nick. We're then going to use the latest data on population, religion, and birth rate to figure out how many homes Santa needs to stop at. In order to do all of this, we're going to have to mix and match some sources and make a know the true reason that Santa needed Rudolph to guide his sleigh tonight. And remember, all these numbers- I'm not watching this whole damn fucking math thing. Bro's actually whipping out a fucking PNG of a calculator. Numbers are just calculating his first major country. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, he need- Thousands. 147 million calories. He just gained himself 42,000 pounds. Not gonna be fitting through too many more chimneys, just say that. After New Zealand- saying Santa's not real, Matt Pat? See, this is why I douse. This is why I douse Matt Pat, bro. Are you saying Santa's not real? I mean, are you saying he couldn't fit down the chimney? Santa doesn't have much time before he heads off to Australia. Over in Oz, kids leave out a plate of cookies and yet another pint of booze. Just what I needed. Who we'll leave Santa beer? I like. I mean, that this probably just isn't a U.S. thing. Australia's approximately 10 million households, at least 50% of them will be expecting a visit from St. Nick. So Santa is now on the hook for yet another 5 million glasses of beer. And if he just goes for the bare minimum one cookie per house, then he's due to eat the equivalent of over 147,000... Santa's booze cruising. Santa's... Santa's mega booze cruising. Bro's about... Bro's not... Bro's not over the point oh eight. Bro's... There's about 40% alcohol. Full containers of Chips Ahoy. Santa leaves Oceania having eaten the astonishing 1.9 billion calories and having drunk 5.5 million pints of beer. Yikes. Santa's next stop is Asia, thankfully, because it kind of gives him a bit of a break. Many countries here either don't believe in Santa or even in the majority Christian nations like the Philippines, they don't typically leave out anything for Saint Nick. So that means that we're going to skip over Asia, which allows Santa some valuable time to burn off the calories and booze that he accumulated at the start of his journey. Heading over to Africa. Much what did like he get a DUI? But, but not even a DUI, an FUI. Flying under the influence. 
Abkhazia, there isn't a clear set of Santa-based traditions. While Santa will leave presents for all the good children of Africa, he is spared from more food. But don't get too comfortable there, Santa, because you're heading over to Europe next, and things are about to escalate. First, we're gonna stop over in the UK. British children leave out a nice mince pie and a glass of sherry for... A mince pie? Oh my god. For Saint Nick. And can I just say, what is it with Britain and all their former colonies just trying to liquor up Santa Claus? Getting him tipsy is not gonna suddenly get you on the nice list. Or maybe it will. With an estimated 29 and a half million homes in the UK and about 59.5% being Christian, that's 17 and a half million glasses of sherry and mince pies that he now needs being Christian, that 29 and a half million not gonna suddenly get you on the nice list. Or maybe it will. With an estimated 29 and a half million homes in the UK, and about- I don't know if that statistic's true. I, I think much less people than 59% self-identify as Christian in the United Kingdom. Or at least practicing. Oh, 46% of people in England, uh... And or forty six percent of people in England and Wales describe themselves as Christian, down from fifty nine percent in twenty eleven. So an average of six million less people are Christian in the UK, uh, and I think a lot less of them are practicing comparable to the United States, which is also having decreased numbers in uh, pra practicing Christianity, meaning attending church. About fifty nine point five percent being Christian. Turn up your mic volume. I don't need to turn up my mic volume. That's 17 and a half million glasses of sherry and mince pies that he now needs to wolf down. At 447 calories a pie and 156 calories per glass of sherry, that brings our calorie count to 13 billion and 14.7 million pints of beers worth of alcohol. Next, we make a quick jaunt over to Ireland where, I think you might already be able to guess, they leave out a pint of Guinness and another mince pie. Adding this in for the one Yo, what is with the mince pies? What is in a mince pie? Five million Any UK viewers here for the five UK viewers I have. What the fuck is a mince pie? In Santa expecting Irish home, Santa heads to mainland Europe after it's a fruit pie. Oh, it's just a, it's just a bunch of fruits reaching 14 billion calories and the equivalent of 16. Yo, bro, he's going over every fucking country, dude. Holy shit, just get to the fucking point for some classic cookies and milk. And fittingly enough, most of the calories that Santa consumes during his entire trip happen here in North America. 93% of Americans and 87% of Canadians participate in Christmas. That means if that's a lot, were generous and say Santa eats only one cookie and a glass of milk per house, that is an additional 29,187,947,702 calories, which ends up absolutely decimating our grand total. After crunching all the numbers, after just looking at about a dozen countries around the world, we now have a total caloric intake for our main man, Father Christmas. 12 drummers drumming. Drum roll, please. In total, Santa consumed 45,800,145,978 calories, or about 18,320,000 times what the USDA recommends an adult male eats in a given day. Besides being full, Santa would also have himself a blood alcohol content of 21,162,660%, which is... <laughs> Bro is alcohol. Bro's not even bro's not even blood anymore. Bro's alcohol and fucking cookies. Just a and mere mince pie. 53,000 times the lethal limit. So it seems pretty darn clear at this point that our main man Santa Claus ain't gonna survive his trip to December 25th. Let's just tally up all the different ways that we know for sure that Are you are you saying Santa's gonna die? That Santa's dead. Completing Santa's journey may cause critically high caloric intake, stomach explosion, uh, or yeah, that thing. If you value having Christmas next year, let's all spare the man some of those killer calories, shall we? As for the alcohol, you can put that one away on the shelf too. Even though he seems more than capable of handling his liquor, the last thing we want is for Saint Nick to be drinking. Are you advising Santa boost cruises, Matt Pat? Flying. But hey, that's just a fear. A food theory. Oh. theory. A food theory. I'm done. Beef Boy and Denix for the sub. JSTN for the fringe bets. I'm Iris and I live in Ireland. Matt's capping. What do you mean Matt's capping? About what? Uh, Wilson for the fringe bets. 
I really want some energy drink. Is there a code I can use to get 30% off? Yes. Excavation point G fuel code Joe B. 30% off this month for select items. 20% all the time, though. 2X Cynic for the sub. Johnny for the sub. All right. We're going to raid. Who am I raiding? Did, did Manifest redeem a raid? Who am I raiding? Joe ends each map pad video the same way? Yeah, I always do. It's a food theory. Manifest, who am I rating? Also, W stream chat. W in the chat for the fucking stream. I had a fun time stream. I hope you guys had fun time watching. We're going to rate in a minute here. Uh, ben Jammins, how do you... Uh, just give me give me their exact user manifest because I have to copy and paste it. Um, tomorrow, I should be live doing the high on life finishing or finishing high on life depending on whether or not I have my new PC I should be alive around 2 p.m. EST but uh if I get my PC late uh then I will be a bit later for that stream and uh if I get uh or if I don't have the PC at all then we're going to be doing another react stream bitch <laughs> because another react stream maybe some IO games I might try and download Minecraft or some shit I'll try and fix it or somehow but I'm hoping that I can get my PC tonight or tomorrow we shall see. Other than that, I will be live tomorrow uh, doing High on Life, depending on whether or not I have my new PC. Friday should be uh, Fortnite and Valorant. Saturday is going to be Christmas Eve. We will be doing... Um, what will we be doing? What will we be doing Friday? Or Saturday. Saturday will be Switch Sports and... Oh, it is replaying. I'm seeing my stream replay. That's odd that it's doing that. Anyways, it should be... It should fix itself. Uh, tomorrow, I... Ooh replaying i'm seeing my stream replay that's odd that it's doing that anyways it should be it should fix itself uh i just tomorrow, saw it i saw it replay like twice replay. there I'm seeing my stream replay that's it's not doing that it now doing that's it. annoying as it fuck should be, it should fix itself uh i just tomorrow, saw it i saw it replay like twice I'm there anyways um all right it did it i don't know why it did it there anyways uh tomorrow should be high on life uh, Friday is going to be Fort Val. Saturday is going to be Switch Sports and Christmas Horror Reacts. Exclamation point Discord. Send videos in the di video suggestion tab for me to react to. Um, what is the raid again? Manifest. Uh, I have white mode on. It's because I'm not signed in. Rosie for the sub JSTN for the 500 bits. Um, who am I raiding? Manifest. I told you I wasn't lying. Who am oh, Yeah, it's just doing it again there. Again, Manifest. Uh, I have white mode on. It's yeah, that's weird as shit. I don't know. I'm going to try and fix that. Uh, Bananans. Or Benjamins. Benjamins, however you fucking do that. All right, it says the raid has been created. All right. Um, I will be live tomorrow. Uh, and then Christmas Day will be an hour long, uh, hour long stream. But yeah, hope you guys had fun watching the stream, W stream. I will see you guys later. We are going to raid in five, four, three, two, one. Okay.